State lines. And state lines. He crossed state lines. Oh my state God. Lines. State lines. He crossed state <laughs> lines with a firearm, which is totally a crime because, because I pulled that on my ass. Yes. I mean, uh, a tr- <laughs> trucker, uh, have you been crossing state lines lately? Oh, no, I am not a filthy criminal, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, uh, aren't you a semi trucker? Aren't you a semi trucker though? Yeah. So Nick, it's kind oh, of a... <laughs> yeah, oh see, you must have been crossing state lines. State uh, lines. I, I'd like to apologize. I didn't realize I was hosting such a monster on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> what a monster! We're all canceled now. Oh boy. We're all canceled because we've crossed state lines. And not to mention dun, you, dun, stay, dun. you stay strapped the whole time too. So double whammy on you, Darren, to cross straight lines. But, uh, not, uh, you're not supposed to know about that. <laughs> what was it? What was it, Tom? Well, as you heard, Kyle Rittenhouse, the man, the legend, the alpha Chad among Chads, has been found not guilty on all charges. Hey, I am going to sue you for plagiarism, loudmouth, because I opened that up with my last stream that I did. How dare you? Uh, How dare you? How dare you? I didn't even know that, but I'm I'm (laughs) saying it. After three weeks of the most disgusting BS um, disgrace of a trial I have ever seen, that trial was a, an abomination. And um, prosecutorial reform needs to be like the number one new agenda. Before it was like fighting critical race theory and the lowering spending. No, um, prosecutors need to be reined in check after watching that trial because not uh, any uh, the, the behavior of those prosecutors should have li- winded them in cuffs several times over. Oh, at the very least, he should, he should be disbarred. Oh uh, yeah, that's the bare minimum. It's, I it's, mean, uh, definitely the moment that he started uh, trying to incriminate Kyle on him, like uh, you know, utilizing his Fifth Amendment rights. Yeah, right, you've been silent this violation. whole time, that haven't you, Kyle? No, no. And then, like near the end, it came out that they were withholding high definition drone footage from the defense. That Which too. Is- that's a that, that's a serious crime right there. Yeah, that that, that is a jailable crime. offense. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that's a that's a serious crime. And um, what they tried to do with like using like the low quality drone footage and try to like use algorithms to enhance it, that is absolutely uh, uh despicable. Like if somehow that Kyle is, had that's been altering evidence. Uh, yeah, that, that's you know what that's the equivalent like, of. Uh, it'd be like if like somebody. If I, Imagine if I uh, photoshopped your face onto Patrick Bateman from American Psycho, <laughs> and then I sent you to prison the rest of your life, basically. Look, he committed murder. <laughs> no, no, it, it'd be like trying to uh, somebody trying to photoshop my face over uh, uh, Anthony Huber or Rosenbaum or someone else like that. Uh, well, and, and they knew what they were doing too, because they knew that the interpolation, the adding, and uh, the algorithms adding of pixelation create more uh, foggy information for them to argue that Kyle pointed the gun at Zeminski. Right. Uh, yeah. Right, uh, totally honestly, the uh, I might need to go to the doctors and check my blood pressure because watching uh, that prosecutor go through that footage and lie his ass off, I was in a state of uncontrollable simmering rage. I could not even believe what I was watching. It felt like I was watching something from a bad movie. I was listening to uh, the uh, the Ranting Monkeys uh, live stream of one that he was reviewing the day of Kyle Rittenhouse being put on the podium, and I was just overly animated with anger and uh, just megalomania as to uh, my reaction uh, with the uh, freaking binger and of how much of a shitbag he was being towards Kyle Rittenhouse. Hey, he kept hey. on... He opened up his uh, statement uh, with, uh, you intended to kill the three people you shot correct walking in with the assertion and kept on insisting on that assertion like you intended to kill them right no you intended to kill them correct no i mean i shot at them but the intent wasn't to kill them it was to prevent them from killing me hey 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 when he's reviewing the footage of rosenbaum running for running towards him all right uh binger says something that's like totally the opposite of what's on the goddamn video says look how far away rosenbaum is i'm like what the 
fuck are you seeing? Rosamond was dude. a couple feet away and running towards him. Does he have to wait till the guy's on him? Yeah. Dude, uh, dude, there was a burn mark on Rosenbaum's hand from the first shot. Meaning that he was literally inches away from or on had his hand on the fucking barrel of the gun. Yeah. Right. I mean, well, though to be honest, though, this case does set a pretty dangerous precedent for the future. I mean, what kind of country do we want to live in where pedophiles can't uh, attack children in the streets without consequences, man? I mean, what kind of world do you want to live in where a convicted child rapist would have to live in fear that they can't go around molesting kids without uh, consequences? Gotta hate this shit. <laughs> Hello, Red Feather in the live chat. Also, I'm going to like shell this to my uh, general Discord server for everybody to uh, watch if they want. Um, sure. Yes. What was the point that you were earlier trying to uh, make to me, Trucker, or do you basically already make it? Which point? Uh, never oh. mind. I thought, yeah, I thought... no, um, I forgot. I was going to say, I think your rage is seated in the fact that you played too much Call of Duty. Oh, I remember that one, too. That was... <laughs> oh, damn. And that, let's Don't not you play to... Call of Duty? And let's not yeah, forget game, white rage, right? Copies, arrest them all. <laughs> I, I when I, I was watching the prosecution when he said that, and I just I could not believe it. I'm just like, oh my god, you just lost. First off, making that argument, you just made every man on that fucking on that on that jury. I'm sorry, I'm cursing. You made every man on that jury instantly laugh at you, right? <laughs> and you know, we can officially say now because. It's always been known that, or it's always been thought, anyways, that it was exclusively segments of the right wing who are all like banned violent video games. But now, ever since Binger came out with this, we can uh, officially say that both sides have their anti violent video games activist people, you know? Don't you play Call of Duty, you murderer? No, I play Overwatch, so, uh, but it's still violent, so I guess that's uh, even me. worse. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Um, and, you, you, know, and, and you have to remember, the, uh, Overwatch, though, dude, the games are sometimes shipped to stores across state lines! State, state lines. lines! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm trying my best to do my Anna uh, Kasparian impersonation. Although I think oh. I should probably like put in a little, a little bit more screaming banshee, but uh, I don't want to hurt my voice any more than it has for oh my last God. week. <laughs> Did you guys see that Anna Kasparian? Gave a retraction to putting out false information, and in the in the retraction, put out more false information. Yeah. Yes. Uh, AJW. I remember right. watching his Young video. Turks, um, is a dishonest uh, news source. No. <laughs> no. No. Say it not Ch so, be so. so but... Chunk Booger is not is not a good source of information. Oh no. Chunk Uyghur, Muslims he ignores. Um, but yeah, AJW was like reviewing that, and I guess there was uh, some people who had originally watched that video before AJW ever did a response to it, and they were all like, give Anna credit where credit is due, and then AJW watched it himself, and he was all like, she is just no. replacing her past lies with different lies now, so <laughs> how, how am I supposed to give credit to all this shit? Like, yeah, she admits that she never saw the footage, and that she was wrong on one maybe two fronts but she's wrong on like five six seven other fronts and then she's wrong in entirely new fronts like how'd you do that lady although if i was to uh just pose the question for argument's sake because of this um of how that she came out even like marginally of, of retracting some past things that she said and also looking at the debate that she openly had with Ben Shapiro not too long before that. Can we say that this might be the beginning of a uh, of Anna Kasparian officially le leaving the Young Turks in the same way of Jimmy Dore? Who knows? <laughs> She's going to get castigated as an evil right winger. Right. <laughs> it's just stupid. I mean, You're saying I'm there to, to, to remind us of the fact that uh, Kyle was um, uh, currently walking around in a state that he wasn't live doesn't actually live in, which of course um, totally is inviting murderous pedophiles to to attack you without. Right. And you know what I love about non, that? It's a complete non sequitur. It's if, as if like somebody was residing in Kansas City, Kansas. <laughs> But they worked in Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, they wanted to go from their home to the business, uh, you know, because uh, there's uh, like some big riot happening, rhetorically speaking, mm -hmm. in Kansas City 
met, metro area, and he wants to uh, protect his business so that he does not end up getting unemployed for the short term because of the rioters burning down said business. Hey, it's hey, dumb. Dark, dark, you're forgetting. He would have to cross state lines. Right, hey, right, right, right. Lines! Right. The, the, yep. My point being that b- because of that criticism, that one piece of criticism, uh, it's it's dumb for that very reason why that I just well, mentioned my analogy. You're right, and these are from the same dumbasses who are like, no human is illegal, borders are imaginary lines when it comes to the nation's borders, but uh, state lines, those are... Uh, oh those my are god, lines. those are sacred. You you, you you say that it kind of reminds me of the uh, debate back uh, w- with the uh, serfs that uh, Adam and Sitch did against I the. I saw uh, that with the illegal I remember that. that was awesome. Uh, I mean, uh, what, what was I going to say? I mean, he actually pulled the oh, so this is the gotcha moment to right here. This is uh, sp- sort of the imaginary <laughs> lines argument that we're pulling, and I was thinking to myself, imaginary lines. I mean. Uh, how much you want to bet that when it comes to the issue of illegal immigration, he used something along the same lines of that logic to argue against people who are, you know, for enforcing the U.S. border of Mexico. Those are nothing but those are nothing but imaginary lines, man. Those illegals should come here illegally and, then and, a few and months, uh, you and know, then a few assault later, and rape you. And then a few months later, when it comes to the Kyle Rittenhouse story, oh, these are not imaginary lines right here. These are uh, state lines. State, state lines. lines. <laughs> oh, man. Heard it uh, so many times that uh, even though in some contexts it might be a legitimate statement to make, I just cannot help but feel disgusted naturally hearing yeah. it, mostly because of how much that Anna and the rest of Young Turks and everyone else like kept on overusing that statement as yeah. if it meant anything. My, my favorite thing I was the like- cross the border. You yeah, know, you cross state lines, lines with a firearm, and it's like that's literally not illegal. There's no, it's not illegal in any state to cross their state lines with a firearm, but even if it's illegal that, to have the firearm. Right. Much more importantly than that, even if it was illegal, and even if Kyle Rittenhouse um, was uh, uh, fi- violating the law by carrying this firearm, that would not negate his his right to self defense. You can be illegally carrying a firearm. Uh, and and that would would be a charge, but if you but if you use it in self defense, that is still permissible. All right, you still wouldn't be prosecuted for murder for using it, even an illegal weapon in self defense. So that argument is stupid for so many different Dude, reasons. I saw people legitimately making that argument in the case of Gage Grosquith, who was illegally carrying a firearm. He didn't have a concealed carry. He had a felony on his license, on his record. Let's say, for right. example, if this was, was like real a, quick, real quick, they were making sorry. that argument for Gage, but they weren't allowing that argument to be made for Kyle. Which, in Kyle's case, it turns out it wasn't even illegal for him to have it in the first place. You know, let's uh, like change up the city that this would have happened in. Let's say that the riot was happening in New York, and uh, Kyle lived in Pennsylvania or something, uh, some other city that is like very close. Yeah, it, it wouldn't matter. Well, a city like New York that outright bans all firearms, or, or Chicago, or any other of those the cities that just well, outright... no cities outright ban all firearms because they're all. But well, they 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 do in what, practice. What about though. air? What about air fifteens though? Nah. Yeah, those are banned in uh, those are banned in New York. Okay, um, uh, he would uh, probably more appropriately serve like maybe one year or some or fines for carrying it in general. But he does not deserve twenty to life because of air quotes murder because these weren't murders. Yeah, the, no, it, it, yeah, he only yeah with the weapon that he had. If he had just gone there to kill people, as so many morons constantly asserted, he could have killed at least thirty people. Well, my thing about that, too, is, like, I saw people who were like, well, why did he show up with an AR-15? And my point of view on that is, it is literally the most common gun in America. If you're going to flip a coin, like, if you're going to, you know, grab a a number out of a uh, bag, (laughs) it's likely to be the AR-15 over any other gun. Hmm. Right, and you know, speaking of uh, motives, as a uh, kind of loudmouth uh, brought up uh, a little bit, um, 
I always kind of was under the presumption that he was going up to Kenosha to protect private property, to Ooh, protect yeah, thought, businesses. Okay. And I thought it was a legitimate reasoning, uh, not necessarily to kill the people who would want to violate that private property, but all the same. But uh, fast forward to present day around the time of the trials, I hear that that's more in question, that it wasn't actually his uh, main mode of protecting business property. Um, no, no. He was a um, certified in CPR and a few other things for his job as a lifeguard. He just wanted to make sure people were, weren't getting too injured because the ambulances couldn't get to them. So well, it was. Yeah, to, I mean, um, well, uh, the big thing from what I hear that like pissed Rosenbaum off and led to that pedophile attack in him was he uh, used a fire extinguisher to put out a fire that um, that sick fuck started. And, and that pissed yeah. off that um, uh, that freak. So the, so uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was uh, going up there not to protect and preserve private property, but to protect and preserve people's health and well-being. He right, because they uh, dozens of lives by putting out that fire because that fire could have lit a gas station. Imagine the damage. Well, they were pushing caused. it. To, they were pushing it towards the gas station. Is the wild he's thing. A he's a fucking hero. And right. Binger is a fucking idiot to be criticizing him for wanting to put out that dumpster fire. Like, oh going towards, God, going why the there's end, fires absolutely... all over the place? Yeah, like going towards the end, it was absolutely disgusting. He was trying to get on his case for choosing that dumpster to put out the fire that was in it or for keeping his air 15 on him in case there was the absolute slimmest chance that somebody would attack him like in the ultimatum of things kyle was trying to make the case that overall i didn't really feel endangered but there was still that slightest of slight possibilities unfortunately and, uh, he did not i, I gotta say a tribute to Tyler Quest. i see you in the in the chat i sent you links if you want to join the stream anytime you like yeah they're both they're both here no, man. And what got me is I was telling, I was reacting to people on Twitter before I got off Twitter. Uh, somebody said, you know, well, why would you, anybody bring an AR-15 to a riot? And it's like, dude, if there's any place to bring a gun, it's the place surrounded by crazy riotous freaks. Yeah. How about in case um, some some ba some bald midget pedophile uh, decides to attack you? <laughs> that was my 20, uh, that was my then, favorite case from the prosecutor. <laughs> They were like, yeah. you're on, yeah, your honor. The guy wants this evidence that he wasn't dangerous. Holy shit. <laughs> He's five foot two. He is a manlet. Why would you feel threatened? <laughs> well, the thing is, is that he he looked like overall he had a little bit more muscle mass on him than Kyle. Even though that he's shorter than Kyle, he looked like that uh, he uh, lift the weights just a little bit more oh, in his uh, life hey, than Kyle. Aboard. What? Hello. Hey, Tyler, how you doing? I'm oh, good. that was loud. Who's that? Tyler, Tyler Preston. Preston. Tyler Look at Preston. It's been a while since trucker. you and me talked. No. Uh, hey, Tyler. Yes. Hey, what's up, man? We're talking. Uh, about I don't know if you remember right now, me. Mine used to be in. Mine used to be an emoji with a bandana. I remember that. Right, Tyler's think. making the obvious joke there. He died doing what he loved. <laughs> they seem minor. <laughs> hey, but by the way, I got a question for you, uh, Tyler Preston. You've seen the uh, pictures of Rosenbaum, right? Yes, I have. Doesn't he look a whole lot like discount Jason Statham? Exactly, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except, uh, yeah, except, so, uh, except a lot shorter. I remember one guy did a joke that had uh, Rosenbaum, but only, you only see the top of his head because his head, of how short he is in the picture. <laughs> and I, I did a joke where I put uh, Mike Wazowski from Monsters Incorporated there. I don't believe it. I was on TV. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yes. Um, no, dude. I just love. I just love the prosecutor's case. If he's five foot two, manly, you can't possibly feel threatened. <laughs> also, I love the whole entire argument about the video games too. Like, oh my god, it's caused by the video <laughs> games. The video games are the problem. You play Call of Duty. Yes, uh, and Tyler, you watch Godzilla movies. That means you want to, like, go destroy Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm just going to go to, like, Tokyo and just destroy the buildings. Yeah, yeah exactly. Let's you, get you, you, Tyler of trying to destroy Tokyo. <laughs> he's going to hijack a wrecking ball, everybody. Better stop him. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, if we did put, you know, a black guy in Japan, there might be mass panic. Just <laughs> Dude. Shit. Oh, man. But, um. I'm sorry, yeah, I couldn't the resist the Japanese are racist as hell. It was an argument in that entire thing. It was such bullshit, man. <laughs> well, Ever, oh my God, Preston. Said, 
Red Feather in the chat says, yes, he was almost 20 years older. So that's another reason to, for Kyle to take into consideration with Rosenbaum chasing after him is because he has a little bit more at least hand-to-hand -hand fighting experience. So he could do some damage like uh, get his arms out of the way, strangle him or whatever. Whereas Kyle, he had like a, a whole bunch of points over him as far as ability to ward him off and that being with the AR-15. So, oh, if that pet, if that pedophile fuck had gotten his hands on Kyle's weapon, Kyle Rittenhouse would be dead. If he oh, got his sure. hands on his person and Kyle did not have the weapon, he'd probably be heavily injured, if not dead. Yeah, uh, you saw he was swinging a chain at people earlier that day and threatening them with it. That and, too. That too. Yeah. So, like, you know. Well, also, um, did you see? Oh, do any of you guys remember the name of the? I think it was the Daily. Whatever, the reporter that was there right behind Rosenbaum when all that happened. Uh -huh. It was Daily Caller, I thought. You're right. But the prosecutor asked him something. He's like, you couldn't read Rosenbaum's mind. You've never been inside of his head ever in your life. And the guy just responds, the well, he, guy, therefore my testimony is worthless. You got me. <laughs> yeah, no, and then he just responds, well, Rosenbaum said fuck you and reached for the gun. The fact that the guy is a repeated offending pedophile is evidence enough to say that he is like an unrepentant piece of shit. We yeah, don't need yeah. to like actually read his mind to know what he's the thinking of how fucked he is in the head. And um, I don't agree with the judge's decision. I heard morons say that the judge was biased for the defense. If anything, he was biased towards the prosecution because his refusal to allow the past criminal behavior of, uh, of the people Kyle shot to be brought in I think it's kind of bullshit because I do think it's relevant. Yes, Kyle didn't know about their history, but it does strengthen uh, the case that Kyle had legit re good reason to fear for his life from these people when you know that all three well, it, of them have a violent criminal past. Right. It shows a, it shows a pattern of behavior of constant violence. Yes. But um, but Kyle, to be fair, to be, to be fair, um, some some crazy midgets trying to uh, uh, take my gun and kill me, and then some psycho fuck is swinging a skateboard at me. And I hear morons also say, "Well, a skateboard's not a weapon." I'm like, that's like the stupidest argument. Skateboard. Like, have you have you guys actually seen like the article that had like the guy die from the skateboard? Yeah. It's oh, the security object. guard that literally had a caged in head. Yeah. Do, do these idiots like think that human beings were not capable of killing other human beings before the invention of a firearm? Or let, uh, blunt force objects uh, have been, have been um, a ways humans have killed other humans since uh, the dawn of humanity. You know, grabbing a rock and Dude. killing someone with another rock. Perhaps blunt force blunt force weaponry is used something like three times as commonly to kill people not, in America. Not only that, they also have this attitude apparently that if you possess and own a gun, that that inherently and automatically makes you a bad guy. Like the, is, the one closing argument that Binger had made talking about as to how if you're the one who brought in a firearm, you your right to self-defend goes out the window or whatever his exact quote was. I'm going to have to pull it up here, actually. But well, by that, that logic, was, Gage lost his right to self-defense. You right. know, by, that, by the same sort of logic, like if a woman was on the street in the dark, then she brought the rape to herself. Right, right. Like the, the, logic, you know, the fucking victim blaming it, right it, there. It, it is, uh, and uh, it's literally blame, point, victim blaming. You're the right. Second Amendment. He was arguing against the Second Amendment itself there because uh, what the fuck is the point of uh, carrying a weapon if you're if uh, carrying a weapon a invites people to attack you somehow and b means you're not allowed to use it in defense. So what would be the fuck be the point of carrying a weapon? Here's no, the other quote. thing that got me. Oh, go the ahead exact, and read that. The exact quote from Binger. You lose the right to self-defense when you're the one who brought the gun. So you hear that women who uh, end up getting raped or attempted to be raped. If you have a firearm to protect yourself from your rapist, you lost your right to self-defense. Off to jail with you. Yeah, uh, why Off to jail with you. Carries right. on her, man. Uh, that's like an invitation. Uh. No, dude. And you saw that other thing, too. Well... While well, interviewing Kyle, doing the uh, cross, whatever examination, uh, he mentioned the state fact, <laughs> right? Straight lines, straight lines, straight lines. <laughs> but he, no, he mentions the fact that well, Gage only had a pistol and you had an AR-15, so why would you possibly be afraid? 
And it's like, dude, this wasn't like some 500 yards off Gage yeah, is right. walking yeah, around yeah, with a way, pistol and no got difference. sniped. Right, right. And it's like, dude, I'm happy he had a better weapon than Gage did. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, fuck God, uh, Gage gross face, that stupid fuck. <laughs> Now, one of the stuff that I did not like about the trial also was the fact that apparently one of the videos was downgraded for the defense team in comparison to like the prosecution, which is a serious yeah. crime. Yeah, they they, no, they they mentioned it earlier. Yeah, yeah they were manipulating uh, the lower quarter quality video using the um, interpolation to yeah, well, in order well, to that, that the, basically the create fuzz around what actually happened. It's the equivalent of me going through one of the Halloween movies and I Photoshop your face over Michael Myers and I convict you of being a, a mass stabber. That, that's what that's the equivalent <laughs> of. The thing. Right. Uh, how um, did you get you these know, angles? On that same note, I just want to ask, uh, just uh, for the sake of conversation, <laughs> is it actually illegal for policemen to, uh, say, plant evidence on a case that is being investigated? No. Yes. What? I I would uh, hope so. I presume so, because uh, I don't know of uh, how corrupt uh, that person can argue that the justice system is. But on that same breath, and um, and looking at this of what Binger and Strauss did, I think the fat fuck's name was uh, Strauss, anyways. Yeah. Of what Binger and Strauss did with that evidence, they should be hauled off to jail for that. Honestly, you need they need to do a, a, a retrial of every single person that uh, Binger and Strauss have ever tried in the past. Because I'm convinced they, they were just dirty now in this high-profile case than in a bunch of less pro, less high-profile cases. Who knows how many innocent pe people that these fucks have put in prison? Yeah. Hey, and guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Uh, All right. You are so want to remind you, I have, I have suddenly lost the right to my self-defense because I have an AR-15. You're a danger to me. Stop. You're triggering me. Turn off your camera. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, you lost the right to self-defense. If you, someone breaks into my house, I get it. If a pedophile fuck attacks you, you just got to take a beating, according to Binger. <laughs> so there are I, like, oh, my God. Ooh. What about the fact that I own combat armor? Does that take away my right to self-defense? Yeah, you're, you're you inviting me, man. You're like... You just have to let these crazy psycho psychos attack you, man. Yeah, you know. No, you saw he was making that argument, though, that why would you have combat armor? Huh? See, see, and it's like, thing. dude. I understand the the arguments that leftists want to make against uh, guns because those things can be used to kill people. But, say, uh, combat armor, uh, Kevlar, whatever, um, if they were to start arguing against that, considering of uh, how kooky and uh, – that, that uh, the, the prosecution that was, I would not be surprised if leftists start unironically arguing against the ownership of body armor. They have. That's why I bought it. Some lady in Washington proposed a law to ban body armor. Why? I mean, if anything, we should be mandating all kids within schools to wear body armor. It would protect themselves better from mass oh shooters. That would be so cool. Government mandated body armor. Here's your body armor, kid. <laughs> another thing, like another thing I don't understand about this whole entire controversy was the fact that the media and our president too have also stated oh. that apparently that they have killed black people. Even All though they're not even black. All no, no, you, what, the criminal. thing is that they, they are black adjacent. Because don't you see they really care about black lives? Yes, yeah, so, because uh, yeah, yeah, because the the child molester who was running around uh, uh, shouting the n word. I'm sure he was a real committed social justice activist. He looked more totally like a psycho who was going there looking for trouble. If anything, he looked more like a freaking skinhead neo Nazi. Because of right? yeah, pretty much. I mean, the the moment the moment that you start to saying that black and white are like ideological groups, political parties, whatever, instead of just being that, you know, a difference of. Uh, melanin th then you completely lost the part the the plot oh yeah uh, uh, no, well, oh, these, yeah. these are the, the capital thing. these are the capital capital b black people you know if you're black you're not really an american you're your own nation within america those people <laughs> oh my god though yeah it, it's so stupid it defi it defies belief and um honestly like when it comes to this, you really – there's no real way a good person can disagree with that opinion that if you really think that um, 
your position is that a kid should just lay lay himself for a pedophile who comes to attack him. You're a sick and disturbed individual. There's no there's no way about it. <laughs> uh, some of the uh, if I may like uh, go on to a little bit of a uh, different subject. Like it's uh, related to Kyle Rittenhouse, but I do not know how related it is to what uh, we just mentioned here. But there was actually some uh, arguments that I had uh, come across on Facebook that are not necessarily explicitly saying that Kyle Rittenhouse should have actually been locked up, but they were doing a whole bunch of uh, race baiting themselves as to how that Kyle Rittenhouse was able to get off uh, innocent. Um, one of them, the first one, the, one, the first one that I saw was uh, if you think that uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was a victim, but you don't think that George Floyd, Tamir Rice, Breonna Taylor, and Trayvon Martin are victims, and that just goes to show your racism. But the stupid thing about that is that everybody and their pet dog pretty much agrees that George Floyd was a victim. Breonna Taylor was uh, should not have gotten shot in spite of people saying of how that she was helping dealing drugs. That's not like a death penalizing offense. And but, I mean, Tamir the, Rice... The cop didn't shoot her intentionally. It was just kind of her boyfriend right. kind of irresponsibly started firing and there was just kind of... Well, just in so she, she was well, not real a quick, victim real of... Quick. Co- I, I want to say this very quickly. So, uh, so she wasn't a victim of cop malice, but she was a victim of an accident uh, of manslaughter well, yeah people, i will agree anything yeah. you're saying yeah, well, I, was, I was gonna say on that Tragic um, accident, yeah. in, in, in the brianna taylor case actually uh neither uh the cop who shot uh who killed brianna taylor and the cop who and uh the guy who shot the cop the boyfriend neither of them were charged because it was found reasonable that both would think it was uh justified to start shooting <laughs> And well, the only well, person that got charged in that entire case, were, the, the boyfriend you know, who started firing, he uh, claimed he didn't know they were cops, and he's probably telling the truth because at the yeah. while he was shooting, he was calling nine one one saying someone was breaking into his house. So yeah, he's probably telling the truth. He didn't know they were cops. Yeah, and, and the only person in that case that got charged was a cop who was an idiot and let a uh, stray bullet hit a random wall. Yeah, that's what chair. Are. How you doing? Yeah. Doing good. So the equivalency is that people we're, are we're constantly talking about the Rittenhouse case, mm-hmm. right? So, the, like all the equivalencies, all the analogies that they try to make are just so freaking retarded. Like there was that it's meme. Um, uh, also, like talking about the other two, Tamir Rice. Uh, wasn't he the guy oh, who got snap, shot go. for possessing a bag of? Oh, you do, no, trucker. No, that oh. was um... sorry, trucker. Bye. Trucker's gone ship. To my rice, he was this kid who was playing with a fake gun, and um, he and he got shot because they didn't they didn't know it was fake. It was it's a very tragic situation. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was the Skittles kid, the kid who had like, no, the no, no. The kid, I remember no, that. Was, no, that, was, that was like a uh, Trayvon, yeah, Trayvon Martin. I think. I think it was the one in the park where the kid well, was there, and the cop showed up, and after like ten seconds. They didn't yeah, even get that, out of the car. Yeah, hor- horrible, horrible, horrible situation. Yeah, the, it was. Yeah. But actually, Tra- uh, Tyler, uh, Trayvon Martin wasn't the Skittles kid. He was the kid who attacked George or, or got in a scuffle with George Zimmerman. No. no. Uh, 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 he was buying Skittles when he got when he followed the guy or whatever. Yeah. We're, Trayvon we're, Martin. We're getting off topic. I mean, the, po- well, the real point I, I, is. I was- I'm trying to like uh, see, say as to how that uh, the meme is stupid. Trying to equivalent well, the meme is, to, is stupid because um, lots of lots of black defendants every year claim self defense and are not um, convicted of uh, of firing their weapons uh, over that fact like hundreds every year. So it's such bullshit. And really, I think I've seen the media saying like, "Oh, he shot three. He shot a uh, <clears throat> three black people," and it's like, <laughs> "Oh, you're back. Awesome." Hey, oh, hey, while I got the camera on, I wanted to show you this, because I don't think I've shown you guys this, actually. All right, what do you got? Uh, My body you got? armor. Body mm-hmm. armor, Mike. I feel so offended, so triggered. And uh, we could not see everything that you're doing there because you're so choppy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, we got, we got okay, Tom we go. McDonald in the chat now. Right? <laughs> Tom McDonald, long-haired white guy with body armor. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you're you're totally like – your video is like super choppy. <laughs> so I guess the point that I kind of want to uh, get down to with bringing up these stupid-ass memes, is there even like any kind of case that we could just say is somewhat equivalent to Kyle Rittenhouse except the self-defender was black? No. Well, there, there actually is was very... one recently where uh, 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 that, that's kind of been making the rounds up. 
who was actually exonerated on the grounds of self-defense very recently of this guy who was kind of like a drug dealer and um, who was black and he mm. um, he fired a couple shots at, at the cops and um, w- while they were basically raiding his house and he kind of also claimed he didn't know they were cops and he, thus he claimed really? he was acting in self-defense he didn't actually shoot anyone it was but they tried to charge him with attempted murder and while he did get other charges convicted for like the drugs he drug running what have you so he didn't get off scot-free but he uh, was exonerated for attempted murder because he claimed he, it was self-defense he yeah, didn't know they were yeah I, I i'm sure he didn't hear them yelling police as they broke down the door so yeah, i'm uh, just gonna say know. of course the drug dealer manages to make every shot and the thing that i said <laughs> well, in response but to keep in mind for a conviction the only standard is is there a reasonable doubt so it, it, it it's always better to have a justice system that would let go a hundred criminals that than ever convict a, even a single innocent man. The, the, thing that, the, last, uh, yeah. the thing that I said in response to one of these Facebook memes was that Kyle Rittenhouse's uh, case, his story here, is about as rare of a case within self-defense uh, stories as 9-11 is a story of building destruction. I mean, it's so yeah. freaking rare, it's really, really hard to compare. Where you have like video another. of every well, single Kyle, proving it was self defense. That too. Yeah. When, well, the other part of this is like, it is freakishly textbook self defense. Like, if you were to create a hyper, like a hypothetical scenario of self defense, the Kyle Rittenhouse case is what you would create. Yeah. That's and, why it is an absolute be- disgrace beyond a disgrace that he was ever even charged at all. Oh, I mean, also, well, um, right. He should never have been put through this shit. Preston and La- uh, right. Preston and Loudmouth, you guys will like this too. I found this at my local nerd shop. Do you wow. see the image on the mug? <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. I recognize the face, but that's uh, yeah. that's from uh, the, the Sandlot. Yeah, yeah. I have to see you know, if like, they still have Sandlot on Hulu. That, You're saying that Jared? guy has TikToks where like. He goes up to people and they don't want his autograph, and he's like, "Why not?" Like, so, <laughs> there's some people who don't like that character, like, because that's all he's done, right? But to be fair, that is like, I use the Sandlot whenever I try to explain to foreigners like how to learn about American culture. That's one of the movies to watch. I think, um, I think Rittenhouse should do what the Gorilla Glue thing and get a get a um publicity person, and then like. Make a song about it. <laughs> oh, uh, not the gorilla. Oh, oh my god, have him, make, have him make a. Oh my god, have him make like some gangster rap music. Oh, uh, yeah. you know, oh, Kyle Rittenhouse is going to live an awesome life, and I am so happy for the kid. That kid, when he walks into CPAC next year, he's going to walk in there like a fucking rock star. Okay, hot Dude. conservative babes are going to throw themselves at him. I was know, about to say, if I was a woman, I'd throw myself at him. Yes. I, I, He'll have to beat off the chicks with a stick, but only in self-defense. <laughs> Isn't it true that one of the guys that he shot like drove like three times the distance that Kyle Rittenhouse yeah. did to get there? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Rosenbaum. Yeah, Gage. Uh, oh, yeah. If you want to bring up, there. if you want to bring up the argument of uh, state lines across state, state lines, lines, state lines. <laughs> Where is the criticism of Gage Grosskreutz, Joseph Rosenbaum, and Anthony Huber cross state lines in order to attack Kyle Rittenhouse? <laughs> So I didn't see yeah, the exact thing. Like, most of them were like bust in from Chicago. Most of those those arrivals that were there. Didn't they say something about that getting thrown out because the gun was a certain? Yep, that charge got thrown out. Well, and honestly, thanks, when he was barrel. first charged, I thought that would be the only charge that they'd like get him on. I thought maybe that one's legit. But yeah, no, me too. Even that one was. Like yeah, I thought they're definitely. Yeah, it turns off that charge that. only. Yeah, everybody on the well, right. Well, it, it turns out up. Um, minors are allowed to have uh, guns in Wisconsin. Uh, for hunting and self-defense purposes, <laughs> right, but they're know. not allowed to have illegally modified guns like sawed off. But if I'm a parent, barrels. if I'm Kyle's mom and he comes to me and he wants a ride somewhere, that's fine. But if my kid is like 17 or whatever and they want to bring their rifle, I'd be like, "Are you going to the range?" <laughs> then oh no, um, rifle? the rifle wasn't at the at his house; it was at his friend's house. At oh, the time. that's why. Okay, right. but I'm yeah, and I'm keep in mind a- that. Um, Go well, ahead. I like Kyle, and I th- and I consider him a hero. If he were my kid, and he was like, I, I am go- going to go head there with a rifle and go in the middle of that riot, I would have said, you're going nowhere, kid. Go to you your right. Well, the other part was mad, that um, dead, she dead. had – Sorry, go ahead. Uh, his mom had driven him to his job because he actually oh, okay. worked in Kenosha, which is the same town his dad lived in. 
And so my guess is that she just thought he was staying the night over at his friend's or his dad's place like he usually yeah. does. Yeah. But uh, I just I, realized I'm, I'm wearing my body I'm armor in my front of my yard in a suburb. Nice. I'm just saying, if he were my kid, that's what I, I would have said. I, I it, um, let him go. it pissed mm. me off when they said he's fake crying because just because oh, yeah. there aren't tears, it doesn't mean anything. When I saw him, I'm like, that's a classic PTSD reaction. Yeah, that that was, yeah, that was a panic team. attack face. As Abba from Abba and Preach put it, that man is an ugly crier. If he is uh, faking it, well, then he is a very damn good actor. Ha- has anyone come oh, out that, and said uh, yeah, that? Oh, yeah, the way that them attacking that kid for crying, uh, it, it really pissed me off. You know, it, it really warmed my heart when they read off not guilty in his reaction. Yeah. It's one of the most heartwarming things I've ever seen. Has anybody said oh, that yeah. that was fake, him collapsing? Yeah. Right. It, it warms my fucking heart. Dude, he gives that yeah, one. He gives that one lawyer a hug. He's like crying and shit. His mom's over there with him, like that. Like, oh, he's just a kid. He was probably horrified in jail while he's waiting for the trial and stuff. Well, he, he he's been off on bond, but still. Um, he, uh, Here's my other question. Though. He was in jail you, for a little while. Yeah. How do you have a fair, unbiased jury, though? If like the case happened like a year ago before the trial or whatever, so the. People on the jury had enough time to form their own opinion about it already. Uh, it, th- there's a reason why it took so long to find jurors. <laughs> and yeah. not just that, though, but also the media have been also harassing the jurors, too, because oh. I heard that like, uh, MSNBC was apparently going after them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 MSNBC. Which is despicable and illegal, and if there's any rule of law in this country, several people in MSNBC should be criminally prosecuted. They claim something very, about their car breaking down or something that they weren't trying to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, I saw that Brian Stelter was running <laughs> cover for him. Dick Masterson called him a girl for crying, says Red Feather, which is bullshit uh, because, uh, well, actually, which is totally right, Red Feather, because we all know that real men don't cry, right? In the most uh, have you seen PTSD the, inducing have you seen the intensive situations, with, um, you never cry. Have you seen the Le- LeBron meme? It has um, Rittenhouse using Windex and wiping tears off his face. Yeah, I love yeah. That. I love that. LeBron James is such a slime ball. He, he, he really is the worst. He really yeah. is. Like, it's yeah. one yeah. thing for him to, well, uh, I'm not going to say that he was right at all for criticizing Officer Reardon for shooting Makia Bryant. No. But I will say that that was him, like a hit, let him letting his elephant control him, as a, such an Adam would put it. But this case right here, Calvin yeah. Nows, he there was uh, some time to be able to digest everything, and in spite of that, he was all still all like lock this kid up. That, yeah, that judge too is known for being like a little bit silly and petty and whatever. It is some of the stuff he did. I'm like, why? <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm not going to say that the judge was 100. Uh, percent I mean, uh, professional because if he was 100 percent professional, he would have made sure, extra sure, to put his phone on silence in the middle of a trial hearing. But no, <laughs> yeah, he still no, had that, his, uh, Honestly, Kyle's defense team was pretty terrible. I mean, Kyle got off because of this, just because of how terrible the evidence was against him, not because he had that good of a defense. Because I, I although I will say his heart. defense was amazing during the uh, the Gage Grossquitz uh, cross examination. They that um, yeah, but, but they did amazing is, with that. But my problem is the prosecutor said so many amazing shit, and I'm screaming objection, Your Honor, and and, and his defense just yeah. is silent. Right? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, shouldn't he have ad- objected to the guy pointing the rifle at the jury? I mean, <laughs> yeah, oh my I've been god, a good an objection. And well, if you want them to experience what it was like looking down the barrel of the gun, uh, he would have been or whatever the name, name is, would have had to lay on the ground and then point the gun. <laughs> you know, I wonder if any of those jury members were uh gun professionals themselves because if any of them were, they should have shouted, Hey, that's unsafe gun usage right there, point yeah, it downward. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was I when, I saw, was when I saw that screen, him. like when I saw that screenshot for the first time, I thought, "Oh my god, this is like another Alec Baldwin." <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing is, yeah, exactly. The, he said the assistant DA told him it was unloaded, but the same thing happened with Alec Baldwin. The person in charge of the right. equipment or whatever said that it was fine, and he trusted him. 
You always yeah, if any of the, the jurors were gun owners, they might take issue with the prosecutor telling them, "Hey, if you go carry one of your weapons, you, uh, people, it's okay. If people attack you, and you don't have a right to defuse to use them in self defense." Um, like, oh yeah, that that yeah. you know, ultimately he. It, I mean, he was set, uh, bringing forth an argument, kind of going mask off as to the, pol- the yeah. politicization of this case outside of Kyle Rittenhouse. But at the same time, that line, I think, uh, now that you put it that way, might have shot himself in the foot with the jurors. They were all like, oh, yeah, my yeah. gosh, this guy's really saying that we cannot self-defend ourselves if we own uh, have a, a firearm strapped on us. Fuck this guy. I'm saying innocent on Kyle. Yeah, they, right. they had a thing where it was like, oh, if a guy's – attacking you you should just take it kind of thing and i'm like no oh that the the uh, the uh the assistant attorney we've all taken our beatings and i'm just looking at him like you round tub of lard you've never that had does an not make it your right life. you yeah. fat stupid fuck and and plus like the way people fight nowadays like one punch if they hit you the wrong way your head goes down and hits the pavement and you know yeah well it do people so, have literally died over smaller injuries than what kyle got so people have got yeah. not, well, not injuries cold, attacks. The, I mean, right? Yeah, well, the, people have no, got he got, I think he got injured too right because punch. when he got hit by that skateboard, it probably gave him a concussion. It's amazing he was still able to like uh, control himself when uh, Gage came up to him after that. Yeah, yeah. no, um, I was gonna say too that that kid's uh, discipline with the guns incredible. Because I'll be honest with you guys, yeah. I would have shot more people than he did. <laughs> I had him a friend that he was uh, like, uh, when they were reviewing the debate between Destiny and Foster, there was one point where Adam was all like, I would have just gone spray and pray. Yeah, like, yeah. I think it is yeah, being a bit of an idiot. Yeah, that's the argument. But... Felt like, like Vosh, if he was an attorney, he used the same, the same arguments. Mobs chase murderers. Uh, I love how, like, <laughs> that night there was a headline that was like, Antifa tries to burn down police station. And I'm like, <sighs> of course they do. But don't worry, well, they sent Kyle, they sent Kyle Rittenhouse out, and he stopped it all. <laughs> Apparently, also according to Adam and uh, Sitch, um, Vosh has not made any content relating to Kyle Rittenhouse ever since that debate. No, he yeah, he's probably drunk himself into a retarded stupor. He has loudmouth. Yeah, uh, yeah, he has. I checked. Oh shit! <laughs> that guy's people- still fucking deranged. I'm still waiting for that guy to actually get charged with child porn because he constantly talks about child porn every single yeah, time. There was, yeah, there was, a car- there was a cartoon that joked about that that has uh, it, it has a cartoon version of Vosh and it says, I- I'm just saying, if you talk about the Jews all the time, you're probably a fascist. And then the next panel says, anyways, back to the age of consent. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, oh, it's so creepy. Like, <laughs> why why does it come up so much with you Vosh? what's going on yeah you ever seen the cartoon of where that Vosh is uh like being countered by a zomb of a horde of zombies zombies are like brains and Vosh is like mm-hmm. this is really the will of the mob well then let's do it bows his head for them to like bite into his head and the zombies go up and they're like Brains just passing by, you know, the joke because <laughs> he doesn't have any brains. <laughs> yeah, but the Simpsons hey, already that joke with Homer Simpson, so it's not that original. But uh, fair enough. Simpsons Ooh. did it. Ooh. Right. Well, Simpsons did everything first. Yeah, but when I was a joke in a Treehouse of Horror episode, and the zombies are like brains, brains, and the and Homer they go past Homer like. Uh, nah, friends, and just leave them alone. So I guess the next possible trial to look forward to is Afterworld, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, a strange there's a bunch one. of lawsuits, but there's also the <laughs> FBI investigation, so we'll see. Oh, I'm probably going to... Oh, uh, if he has a fund uh, for um, to sue the ass out of the media who slandered that kid, I will, I'll be donating to it. Mm. Oh, I just saw that dark con. Or was that chair he sent that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I uh, I featured one particular live chat comment from Chair View in the chat because it uh, is quite a fascinating story actually. Uh, and I know, I think I know which one you're referring to, Chair. He says, "Remember the dude who was in an airport and shot the creep who went after his kid and he didn't get charged." Yeah. Well, I think he actually did get mildly charged, but he did not serve uh, actual jail time. Was the story there? Uh-huh. The video was yeah. incredible that the cops marching him by the guy barely even reacted afterwards. They're like, "Oh well." Well, they've done interviews with the, that guy since, and he's old as can be now. And to this yeah. day, his response is like, you know, I'm happy I did it. 
Yeah, because it's like a lot of people uh, are like. Bit of a oh. Chad move there, it seems. Uh, Hell Red yeah, Chad dad. Down there. They should let the cops handle uh, it. Tyler, like, Tyler, this is uh, you broadcasting. Yeah. Oh, hello? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, look at this. Go okay, no, this is like you were, you were just, raising yeah, money yeah, for you, legal you, yeah, you were talking about like the fundraiser stuff, but like uh, according yeah. to GoFundMe, it said that their terms of service will prohibit raising money for the legal defense of an alleged violent crime. Which and is a let, lie because numerous people have raised up their legal defense on GoFundMe even off of Dude, dude, they GoFundMe raised money for Jacob Blake, who was there on a warrant, who had a warrant and a um oh, what's the word? You know, like he was kept from being He's near the probation. lady. Well, you and know. on probation, but he was also um he had a, a restraining order for digitally raping his ex wife. Digitally like, raping? <laughs> on the internet, no, uh, with his fingers, with his with his digits. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, the, yeah, that was what he, what they were arresting yeah. for. Yeah, in a dumb, video game, a bunch of people uh, lied, claiming he was unarmed. That's a lie. He had a knife. He was wielding it. He, was, he had kids in the car. Shooting him was exactly the right move. The guy was. It dangerous. was later yeah. found out even that he had a gun underneath his car seat too. No, uh, and he what? admitted to reaching for the knife in a uh, radio interview. Yeah, I don't think uh, later on, a knife, but it, but still a weapon. Yeah, I don't think there was a gun. Uh, I'd have to like uh, look back because uh, I thought I saw. I'm something pretty sure it was just a knife. Confirmed. But but still, right. if he's got, got kids it. in the car, if kids are in Ooh. danger and he's wielding a weapon, oh hell yeah, it's justified shooting. That did, did you, he's, okay, you it, know how they always say like, oh, cops are racist and they're racist black people. Okay, I get it. Like. I don't think cops are that great either. But, like, okay, you know how they're saying that, right? There was an instance where it didn't happen where – did you hear about the TikToker who decided to um, start a race at a stoplight with a cop? And then, like, they what caught him, and he, was, he led them on a chase of, like, 100 miles an hour. And when they caught him, he was bragging that he makes between 400 and 500K and that he's rich so he can pretty much do whatever he wants. And he said – Oh, I did it just for fun. That's but they didn't so shoot dumb. him or anything. They just like arrested him, you know. Well, uh, yeah, but, but, like, okay, buddy, you're under arrest. Yeah, but well, uh, dude, like, um, the, the people who try to make everything about race are very disturbing and, frankly, evil is what they are because they are. I mean, yeah. did you guys see the Young Turks where uh, Cenk Uger was screaming? Oh, conservatives and Republicans are literally out to kill us. And, yeah. Like you, you are putting no, no, like you are putting so many leftists on edge. Like you, you are literally stoking flames. Well, that oh, uh, and uh, Chunk Booger, he knows what he's doing when he does that shit. You know, he's a, he's an evil son of a bitch. But yes, yeah, so someone asked me about the Oddman Arby case. Honestly, I haven't followed the too many of the details, so I'm not going to comment on that one. Right. That one I don't know much about, yeah. other yeah. than what yeah. I've like the thing about the young Turks is that like I haven't seen him like in a long time. Like the last time I seen him was when they were reacting to the uh election with Donald Trump and they were just freaking <laughs> out. That was hilarious. So the biggest reason you're, I, I was Googling, dumb. I was Googling yeah. up about Jacob Blake, and apparently, but according to all the headlines, I guess it's not confirmed that uh, he ever had a gun. In fact, did not have one, so I will g uh, give that to you guys. But uh, in my uh, search, I found this article. Yahoo News, the Kyle, uh, and, or more specifically, this is actually Politico, just uh, <laughs> Yahoo is like hosting the article for them. But it says, the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict exposes America's divide over who gets to carry a gun. I mean, I do not know if you want to like re uh, have us read through this no. entire thing loud. Enough, I'd rather not. Here, is, I want to pull out some memes on this. So, so here, hold on. I understand, but <laughs> hey, just real the quick. Thing, uh, the point uh, that, when wait, I said wait, you're wait, dumb, uh, I was quoting Anna. Okay, the the, the the point that I was wanting to make here, if they are like trying to race bait this shit right here, that doesn't make any sense because you got to remember that there are a whole bunch of black gun owners in the heat of the George Floyd riots who is protecting their own private businesses from rioters. Right. Right. Okay. Um. So. Because of your constitution, the answer to who can carry a gun is anybody that qualifies to buy one. Because when you go to buy one, they do all these checks and everything and make sure that you're okay to own one. So it's like, yeah, anybody that qualifies well, can carry a gun. Well, the funny thing, in some cases, people who can't buy one can still own one. <laughs> yeah, but how do you, uh, you broadcast you the screen, the screen share? I don't think I've ever done it before. Let me see your settings. Uh, 
Like in Texas, um, you're not uh, anyone under 21 can't buy a pistol, but you can own one. You know, there is like a way to uh, share both the screen oh, here, and here, the audio found from StreamYard, right? I found, it. I found it. Like, I live in Canada where they have a thing actually in like the Bill of Rights, the Charter of Freedoms, that actually says like, oh, you, you have freedoms and stuff, but we can restrict them as long as those restrictions are reasonable and justifiable. That's what they say. That's that's not a charter of human rights. That's <laughs> human rights exist without the government. What the hell? No, I know, but that's why it's rare to have guns. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, remember, here it is. Remember the quote it. from my favorite <laughs> yeah, progressive right. voice: uh, "Your rights come from the state, trucker. You yeah, yeah, idiot." Yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, when I pointed my pistol at him, he shot me. <laughs> I never would have guessed that would happen. Who, who would have guessed? Uh, uh, that was that was a favorite of mine. Uh, let me find another one. Uh, the, the best line was about the video game thing, where he's like, where Kyle just looked at him with this look on his face, and he's like, "Yeah, video games aren't real life." Yeah, he literally tells him it was a video game. <laughs> he's a more of a boomer than uh, even some boomers. Uh, Binger, I mean. <laughs> Right? No, yeah. man. And, um, oh, my God, real quick, guys. Did you see that Kyle Rittenhouse actually got the phone number of the uh, now, I guess, widow of Huber? As a girlfriend, yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm just saying, like, it would be the funniest thing in the world for Kyle Rittenhouse to cut Huber from, the, from beyond the grave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't I mean, get it, but, like... Oh, that is so fucked. A lot of these companies that claim to be, you know, pro-American and whatever, and that's good. They claim to be American companies and stuff. They should be supporting the fact that it was a legal system. He was tried in front of a jury. <laughs> they found him not guilty. The system did what it's supposed to do. There are appeals for that reason. If they think, oh, you know, whatever. Oh my God! Did you wait, see guys, uh, what's his? Guys, I just read. I just read some very bad news. Let me broadcast right here. Mm. Prosecutors find mail and jury votes at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, no, my favorite bad. Babylon, <laughs> my favorite Babylon B headline so far has been the one where it shows uh, Kyle Rittenhouse convicted for murdering prosecutors' career. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Also, like I can't leave people beforehand, like. They're doing the whole oh, white power symbol, blah, 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 whatever. I don't care about that shit. But, like, for wearing a shirt that's like, free as fuck after he made bail, it's like, so what? He's happy that he got out on bail. So what? He also didn't even make a white power symbol. He did the okay hand symbol, which trolls the libs. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the, yeah, that's another argument the prosecutor tried to make before the judge shut him down. He tried to argue yeah. that the because the kid was... um. Smiling in a bar a few months ago, therefore yeah. he, uh, th therefore he must be like a remorseless killer. You've smiled <laughs> in, your in your life. How dare yeah. you smile ever? Never, yeah, that's never what he had that shirt on. Again after what happened, you know, it's about yeah. as stupid as uh, if, say we take the Revolutionary War um generation of Americans. George Washington, a few months after the war is finally done, ends up enjoying his freedom and his time hanging out with his other founding father buddies in a bar or whatever. Uh, that'd be uh, it'd be about as stupid as saying that that is evidence that he is not at all remorseful for having to kill his fave, his fellow um, colonialist, uh, you know, British people who are more loyal to the British Empire. You know, uh, and, uh, it's just not as dumb. Yep. Yes, verdict. Verdict is in. Jury finds Kyle Rittenhouse an absolute legend. <laughs> I saw that one. Yes. <laughs> Jury rules Kyle Rittenhouse is a Chad among Chads. <laughs> he kind of is. Like, my God, the sheer discipline that he had that night to only shoot people that assaulted him. Like, oh, that yeah. were in the midst of physically assaulting him. Uh, oh yeah, like the next gener uh, the next generation of hot conservative babes, they're gonna be all over him. I'm telling you, <laughs> at at CPAC. Oh, but I, uh, I even actually even did that joke of a headline that said jury sentences Kyle Rittenhouse to 45 years of uh, CPAC appearances. <laughs> 
That's a good oh, one. Oh, man. This is such a historical trial right here. People are probably going to be making mentions about this 50 years from now when they are grandparents and great grandparents. Mm-hmm. I'm going to oh, have like. This trial is much more significant than Kyle Rittenhouse himself. Because if they had ruled with the jury's, or, I'm sorry, with the prosecutor's arguments against the right to self-defense and the right to bear arms, it would have been a disaster for the entire country if this kid had been convicted. Because it would have sent the message to literally all Americans were marked men. Well, it, it would have destabilized the country. We're, we're all going we to be awesome having... Phrase, though. We have, we have the phrase, it sounds like it sounds like a Jason Bourne movie, The Rittenhouse Precedent. Yes. Right. The Rittenhouse well, that's Precedent, the other... that you have a right to uh, shoot a pedophile if he comes and tries to to attack you. Yeah, that's not really a new thing. I know. Right? Well, that's the other part about this is like it's such an obvious case of legal malfeasance and prosecutorial like a, well, abuse of the, of the legal system that quite frankly if he hadn't gotten off that that may have been one of these sparks uh, looking back on it, of a new civil war. The honest truth. <laughs> it really, it yeah. really. I honestly don't even think that's hyperbolic because this this case with how high profile it was and how amazingly in, unjust it is. It pretty much every American would pretty much lose all, like half the country would lose all faith in the legal system, and the country would destabilize from that. So the jury really not only saved <laughs> yeah. this kid a lot of misery, they saved the country. Good on that jury. High five. This one, to them. This, this one's pretty funny. It says, uh. This morning, for the first time in a year, Kyle Rittenhouse can wake up as a free man and post on his Four Doors More Horrors account. <laughs> hey, guys. I, say, I love the name of that account. Oh, hey, yeah. guys. Uh, I'm coming across this uh, one story that just popped up for me on Discord and searching up on DuckDuckGo. Uh, have you guys ever heard of a guy named Andrew Coffey? Yeah, that's the no. guy I was talking about earlier. I already mentioned him. Oh, yeah, he was that guy that like shot at the cops, but he claimed uh, that he didn't know they were cops, so he got off on self defense. Oh, that's who oh, that was? okay. You 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 just could not remember his name. Yeah, because yeah, the, yeah, the, the the black dude. Yeah, that yeah, that's that's kind of it's his name's kind of trending to refute all the morons who say if Kyle Rittenhouse were were black, he wouldn't be able to claim self defense. Yes, he would have. In fact, if he had it, with with that footage, like if a bunch of like KKK members had been like t- running after like this black guy to lynch him. And he just and he shot them in self defense. All right, he'd be like the next Django Unchained. Well, there was people. No, no, no. no. Was, Here, here's the oh. thing. Here's the thing. According to Vosh, <laughs> mobs chase murderers. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. Um, during the whole Charlottesville unite the right, fucking that whole debacle, there was several scenarios where, uh, like groups of people, including like almost exclusively groups of black people beat the crap out of some white nationalist types that were there. And they weren't charged because there was a uh, argument to be made in a lot of those cases for self-defense. And it's like, guys, so we have examples of literal white nationalists getting their asses handed to them by black people, and they didn't get charged. Yep. Have you guys heard of this cop named Lieutenant Kelly? Okay. No. That so sounds cop, familiar. No, doesn't sound well, familiar. Well, this cop right? apparently had donated to Rittenhouse Defense. Oh, my God. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got fired. Well, now there's a GoFundMe for him. <laughs> Donate to him. Nice. Everyone. Yeah, those journalists are such twisted, slimy fucks. Yeah, they were harassing people who even donated to this kid's defense. They're fucking evil, man. Dude, they harassed one dude who was a EMT that donated to Kyle Rittenhouse's defense, and they got him fired. And it's like, guys, in the middle of nationwide riots... One thing that we don't need less of is EMTs. Fuck that. I wouldn't want to work for a guy who would fire me for that, so I'd be like, bye. <laughs> yeah, same same here. Like, I, I agree. Wait, hey, real quick, guys. Have I showed you my red AR pistol? Uh, no. Enough of that, dude. <laughs> Come on, check it out. It's pretty. How do I turn the mic? Anyway, look at that. Okay, cool, dude. Good for you. The FBI are racking up a list on you, trucker. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, Chair's got something he wants to broadcast. Yes. What's Chair got? <laughs> I like yeah. that. That, <laughs> that is so beautiful. I ought to watch, I actually ought to watch Great Gatsby. And That's a really good seen, Photoshop, too. Have you seen the meme? I love it. It has the uh, it has Binger. 
with his hand on the uh, on the rifle. And it says Call of Duty Moron Warfare. <laughs> no, I've seen that. I have. That's a good one. That's, oh man, that 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 uh, which is better? Which makes a better meme for that kind of stuff? Would it be uh the Ken, you know, who sh- who pointed his gun at the BLM protesters or uh Binger for pointing his gun at the jurors? Right. You know, when, <laughs> By the way, he um, the should Mc- be charged Mr. for that. M- Mr. McCloskey is his real name, but he's uh, referred to as Ken with the Ken and Karen memes, you know? I love the Ken and Karen memes for those two. <laughs> literally, just they were the funny part is too that they were literally just trying to grill out that day. <laughs> yeah. I love I love watching the Democrats too freak out about the fact that Biden actually said something smart and said that he supported the verdict and the justice system, and of course they're all losing their minds, right? So, <laughs> well, did you see like a couple? Oh, go ahead. What's interesting about that, Dale, like prior to the verdict that Joe Biden actually said he was a white supremacist, so he might yeah, get you too. Well, when well, the other one was bad, apparently it, had, the, it basically like showed like various white supremacist group and he included a picture of Kyle Rittenhouse in the ad. No, I know, but apparently well, they yeah. just asked him about that and he's like, I don't know what else he said, but I know he was like, well, look, <laughs> look, try to dodge it. Yeah. He, look he, here, fat. Like. <laughs> when it starts with that, you know he's not reading a teleprompter, so you know it's gonna be something ridiculous. Because I I don't know why this was okay. made like, for him. Like he just kind of just he's senile as hell, and he probably just nodded his head on. Well, that's uh, what I mean. He uh, clearly uh, has uh, medical stuff going on. Shouldn't they like declare him incompetent or or whatever it's called? But then again, Kamala Harris would take over for good, and I don't know about that. Yeah, that's that's the thing that uh, Brent Markey always brings up is that uh, he really head? should. Had the 25th Amendment pulled on him because of uh, how senile he is. But unfortunately, that would get us Kamala Harris, which he doesn't like that. But at the same time, he still thinks Joe Biden should be put in a retirement home or something. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make Dude. it throughout his term. I don't think he's going to be able to finish it. I, I no, can't he's going to the... trip and fall while naked grabbing his dog again. I can't <laughs> believe the press actually said not just his checkup, but they specified that he's getting a colonoscopy. I'm like, why would you tell us that? <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Also, the, there was there were findings from that colonoscopy. They found they found um, his head there. Right. I was about to say, like, why does he even need to have a colonoscopy? We know his head's up his ass already. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But no, my favorite part of this is: Did you see that people were floating the idea of putting Kamala Harris on the Supreme Court just to keep her from running for president? <laughs> <laughs> it is like the greatest that, like failing upward story in the world yeah, but that already. Would be so terrible for uh, criminal justice in this country. Didn't she once get a law passed that said that like parents of delinquent children for school, if they were truant, that they'd be arrested and shit? That wasn't even a law. She just started get, arresting people for that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, she you withheld know. evidence as a prosecutor to to keep an in. That would have um, exonerated an innocent man. She's an absolute monster. No, yeah, she well, is. Even in this case, the the they're saying the prosecutor oh withheld stuff, and it's like no, the judge turned a lot of shit down. <laughs> well, the, the prosecutor did withhold stuff, uh, namely high definition video. From and times, yeah. that, yeah, and um, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, the thing was, they were putting the low <laughs> definition video on high definition TVs. And with uh, video enhancement technology, that created yeah. blurry blocks around Kyle Rittenhouse. And they were claiming that those blurry blocks were him pointing a rifle at people uh, before the events actually happened. Which is well, such an outrage. Thing, like, biggest outrage I've ever seen in any trial right there. Um, oh, the yeah. more you know what just going on on Twitter and on social media and stuff? What's that? Yeah. But he's watching on. that. It's really clear that the guy, like, even with the cars in the way and stuff, it's clear the guy rose his hand with the gun before he got shot. Oh, yeah. Like, Rosenbaum definitely. Well, they, they, um, the autopsy, he had burn marks from gunpowder on his hand, meaning that he was a minimum of, it had his hand minimum of inches away from the barrel. Because even a foot away, you don't get gunpowder burn marks like that. Yeah. Oh, my. So if if Kyle had waited even a, another second to to fire, uh, that dove's pedophile fuck would have grabbed his gun. Yeah, there was a real possibility of that. Yeah, 
He would have grabbed his gun and he probably would have killed him with it. You know what would have uh, – well, I, I'm not saying that this actually should happen, but you know what would have uh, been kind of funny is if uh, he ended up actually grabbing the muzzle of his gun, but as soon as that happened, Kyle shot the gun and blew his freaking hand off. That's what you get for molesting kids, you fucker. Well, I know that – I think one round did hit him in the hand and then, like, in the back – because he was lunging. I think that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Was like Wasn't there one shots. that got that grazed the top of his head as well? Uh, I think that was the second shot, or it could have been the first. No, it was the first one, I believe. Yeah. I, I think I remember seeing this one be... particular video of where that uh, Rosenbaum was seen chasing uh, oh. Kyle, then the gunshots gone off, and then as soon as he was shot, the cameraman just got in closer, and people were tending to Rosenbaum, and Rosenbaum was just uh, on the very verge of dying. He was sort of like uh, out of it, uh, but the, there was like a wound on his head, if I recall correctly. Yeah, um, like this one. You couldn't really see it too well in the video because he was wearing his red shirt as a mask covering the top of his head too. But yeah, this wasn't even just a guy with tendencies or anything. This was a guy that like habitual offender, like five boys that he's like, five. Oh yeah, like, yeah, and he yeah. just got released from a mental institute for suicidal tendencies too. Out of all the people that attacked oh, Kyle that night, he deserved death the most. Yeah. The, the, oh, yeah. What, what is it? Uh, what I'm wondering is how the hell was this guy loose? If he if he uh, raped five different kids, lock him up forever. You don't let a guy like that out of prison, period. Maybe there's you don't an let investigation around that loudmouth, see if, uh, who did it and why. I mean, see if there's like uh, somebody that is purposefully trying to instigate a whole bunch of chaos. Of mo- a yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's what I'm thinking. I think he was let out on purpose, like uh, uh, to like um, a As chaos guy. agent. Tin yeah. foil hat time, y'all. This <laughs> is Nick's like, messaging uh, for the whole thing, though, right? Where like that guy, like, oh, it's just stupid. He's just a mad dog. Who let him off the leash is what, what I wonder. No, but, he's uh, not a mad uh, dog. Uh, That's an insult right? to the Chinese boxer. Well, that barely had enough belt as he did, I think. Okay, Dude, okay. here's the thing. At least so a rabid got, mad dog has a In that case, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you have the justice system failing in that case with the pedophile guy. And then you have oh, yeah. the justice system doing its thing properly with Kyle Rittenhouse. And it's like... Well, it should, well, I would say that that was definitely prosecutorial abuse going oh, after yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse. But thank God for reasonable juries. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise uh, the kid would have it really tough. I mean, he still kind of got off. Maybe it's like he could have gone off on appeal. He could. Uh, there were numerous constitutional grounds, and if a Republican won the governorship of Wisconsin, he could get a pardon from the governor. Mm. Dude, dude, you know, he kind of looks like Dick Slander, right? <laughs> you know, I, oh, I think I, of the times when Flanders lost his mind. Right? That's what I think of. <laughs> I want to bring up uh, this point, by the way. Uh, a lot of people keep on bringing up the argument as to how somehow this is like comparable to uh, uh, to George uh, Derek Chauvin's uh, trial of how, no. that, it, which I yeah, I don't think that it's a really comparable either. Like uh, ranting monkey, he was uh, responding to all the people that are arguably further right than him or any of us are who are all like oh the fact that Derek Chauvin is uh not getting off scot-free this is a clear-cut evidence of uh the justice system not working which I'm thinking to myself not really because it's not as clear as with Kyle Rittenhouse I mean and I do fully believe that Derek Chauvin at least uh, deserved um um a punishment for manslaughter at the very least. Yeah, I, I'm, like- I'm on the same camp. I don't think he was trying to kill the guy. I just think he was uh, yeah, incredibly irresponsible. I don't think he's like the racist monster that people painted on. I think he was just um, yeah. a moron who should never have been a cop who made an idiotic decision, was careless, and dumb. Um, and fucked his life up for that. But yeah, because it's well, a, the other part was cut, that there was... it's no ways comparable to Kyle Rittenhouse with uh, criminal justice misconduct. You're saying, trucker. Well, I was going to say in the George Floyd case, too, I would say that there's a whole host of issues around that as far as like George Floyd losing his life. Because at the same time that uh, I, I would agree the cop was at least negligent in his duty to take care of George Floyd. At the same time, there was an ambulance like a half mile off that couldn't get to them uh, that the cop had called uh, because of the crowd that was around uh, the cop and George Floyd at the time. 
Mm. And so that was just kind of a, I think it was a combination of, well, the ambulance couldn't get to him, the cop being negligent in his duty to care. And basically, basically a clusterfuck of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I think the cop, part of why the cop was negligent is he was kind of panicky because, you know, he had a giant screaming crowd around him. You know, since we're but on this, he subject, shouldn't have let that happen. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, no, I think that he should have got off him and like maybe done something to keep him alive. At least got off his need to like save his own image, if nonetheless. But no, Derek Chauvin yeah, was I mean, stupid and shot himself in the foot. Yeah, exactly. So honestly, although I kind of do think like it was, he may have been overcharged. I, 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 it's not. It's nowhere near like with the Rittenhouse case where normally you, you only they only have to prove yourself not guilty. That's why you're declared not guilty. You're not declared innocent because the burden of proof is to prove you guilty. It's not to uh, prove yourself innocent. I do want to ask this. Guilty. But with Kyle Rittenhouse, you, the evidence was so strong that even if he, the burden of proof, it, of proof mm. was on the defense, I still think he, they had enough proof for exoneration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do want to ask one question since we brought up Derek Chauvin and we did gone talking about the racism, alleged racism side of this thing. There was actually this yeah. one article I read about of how that Derek Chauvin, he used to have been like a security guard for a bar or something. And he was farewell, comfortable enough for all the nights of when that it was like more Hispanic centric. But the nights of where that was more black centric, he got more antsy about it. I mean, couldn't that be? I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to try to read the man's animus? mind. I just think I, I just think like. I, I just I, I'm always skeptical when the media tries to demonize someone that there's always more to the story. I, I always try. Someone, I um, have an incredibly healthy media skepticism. Sure. Someone in my real life said yesterday that they thought that Rittenhouse was Hispanic. I'm like, okay, he is actually he is part Hispanic. Yeah, he is. Hispanic. Yeah, no, he, he looks like he could be Puerto Rican or Cuban or no, something. No, no, but like they were, but they were like talking about the trial and they're like, why are they saying he's white? <laughs> You know, because they're liars. The same. They also say his victims were black. They're liars. <laughs> you know, they just I, like no, I, I, there was somebody outside of the courthouse that was saying that, and it was like some Chicago Black Panther Party member screaming that. And it's like, dude, how do you not know what actually happened? I, I love that meme that went around where they're like talking about all the in this incognito FBI guys, and they're like, he's a Fed. He's a Fed. <laughs> yeah. During that protest out front, they were all like feds. Almost all. Well, you remember that one protest where they found like twenty five FBI agents? Yeah, it was the same type of thing though, where they were standing around and you could kind of tell because they're all dressed similarly and had the the code color on and stuff. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know for a fact that they were FBI agents. Other, you, you. <laughs> Right. Well, we know for a fact they were FBI agents because at the protest, FBI agents tried arresting yeah. a dude for carrying a gun, and it turned out he was also an FBI agent. <laughs> oh, I remember that. That was awesome. I remember hearing about that. <laughs> well, you know, it's a serious that, like, um, I remember there being a the meme shaman of... guy, right? Um, sorry, oh, sorry. What was the that? Shaman guy didn't did they give him forty one months or something? And he didn't even have a gun, so you know. Yeah, well, he ended up getting charged with like misdemeanor trespass or something. Meanwhile, they were holding him yeah. in uh, isolation and uh, the mental wards and stuff like that. And it's like, I get that he does deserve to be charged with something, but y'all are treating him like he's Osama bin Laden or something. Right. That that's why I'm saying that the legal system seems to be really messed words in some ways, and it's like. Yeah. Your connection keeps on going in and on. out, Chair. <laughs> Do you hear me, it's Chair? It's Canadian. Oh, yeah, that ca that Canadian uh, internet service pro provider. They're always so inferior to American uh, yeah. internet service providers. But it's okay. It's only over country lines, and country lines are meaningless, okay? It's only state lines. <laughs> state <laughs> lines. <laughs> that, that are sacred. <laughs> Well, if I was to get my internet from uh, over state lines, apparently I would get it all hacked and messed up because uh, that's not legally allowed, getting your uh, internet connection from state lines over state lines. No, no, no. We you need criminal. A, we need a wall that's, that's um, a, a, a thousand feet high on the border of every state so that we won't have these <laughs> uh, state line crossers. And Wisconsin will pay for it. 
<laughs> Stick right over the side. By the way, Loudmouth, unrelated, but we better get a Ghostbusters review from you. Yes. Uh, I haven't seen the new Ghostbusters yet. Um, it's not I, It's I, not I, fully officially out yet, so that's why. So, but it, no, it it's comes out. out. Is it? Well, it, came, it came out uh, <laughs> yesterday, actually. Yeah. I keep not being able to watch the Dune movie because stuff keeps coming up, and it's pissing me off. I Damn love it, Dune. Trucker. You need to contribute to the box office of that movie, you heathen. Yeah, it was, it's, it's, it was awesome, man. <laughs> no Dune spoilers. Stop it. Me, man. Hey, L- Loudmouth, I got a question. Is uh, Trucker here one of the heretics that they go talking about from Heretics of Dune? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, which book was Heretics of Doom? Which wasn't going to happen in that sir? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, I would have been. <laughs> right, because uh, you don't worship, uh, or I don't know, I don't know what the reason is that they call people the Word heretics. God Emperor. Right, I, I know that there's like a whole religion around the God Emperor of the Imperium of mankind for Warhammer 40k. I do not know how much of a state institutionalized and mandated religion was around the later the second. Uh, 100% state mandated religion. Yeah, he was a god, he was a god emperor of the universe. Okay. Yep. I, I just thought it like everything naturally fell into place mm-hmm. to where that people naturally uh, started worshiping him. I did not know that. Well, to be fair, he, you know, after the first thousand years of him still being alive, a lot of people would have worshipped him anyway, but it was state mandated. Hmm. Psycho. I mean, I guess I should not expect anything different because the, it is described that the guy pretty much was a fascist to his own people, only for the sake of uh, wanting to prepare them for the Kralizek, the great end times of humanity. Well, he was, in the, in, uh, the book, what he was doing was he was forcing constant peace and homogeny and uh the, like the thousands of years of peace would literally force the humans to freak out the moment he was gone and uh basically it would it would basically force humans to recognize their natural state of a bit of chaos and adventure it's it's really too bad we're not going to get to see that two billion dollar version of dune that it was supposed to happen when ages ago when it first came out, <laughs> it's better that it didn't. We got part two is official now. They're working. They're 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 um, currently um, in pre production of part two. Well, wow, yeah, from the sheer amount of money that the first it. one seems to have made. Actually, then the first one hasn't really made one. that much money, at least just at the box office. It's only ma- it's only done well when you consider the pandemic and the simultaneous HBO Max release. It's made about three hundred really? million it. dollars, which is actually below the break even point. Mark my really? word, and Dia is going to ruin the second one. Maybe. No, no, no. She's a decent actress. She, she okay. Uh, have her a screen time in the first one because, of course, it's only based on the first half of the book, and she doesn't really show up till like halfway through. Box office is uh, only approaching up to four hundred million right now. So uh, four hundred million is about the break even point. Wow, right. they spent a lot oh. on that movie. One hundred sixty-five million was the budget. It's now exactly three hundred fifty-five point six million in box office. I will so, say this: I think I think Ghostbusters might have to give it a run for its money. They have completely redeemed the twenty sixteen mess, and they don't even mention it. Thank God. <laughs> well, yeah, what was that one movie, angry? The first oh, two, is, and, and the, whereas the the uh, twenty sixteen movie very clearly was not in continuity with the first two uh, two movies. But what was that one uh, lady's name who, like, she freaked out on Twitter? This movie being no, made is clearly, yeah, Leslie Jones. This is clearly because of Trump. <laughs> and it's like, oh no, you guys goodness. made a crappy movie. And now the actual fans of the movie are here to save it. Yeah, it was a bad movie. You, you made a crappy movie and flopped at the box office. What do you expect? <laughs> Try being funny. The new one's really we, good. Come on, it's we... overly woke. And it's, you know, they have our... the original guys in it for a bit. So that's cool. Were you about to make a sexist joke, Trucker? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was going to be something along the lines of, uh, we all know women can't be funny, right? 
Yeah, I was going to say that exactly. <laughs> Knew it. I, I guessed it. And then Chair interrupted you. I saved Sorry. your ass, Chucker. Just remember that when the Twitter mobs come uh, picking up on this live stream, mm -hmm. that the, that <laughs> I saved your ass from cancellation. Hey, hey, I, look, I'll say it again. Women can't be funny. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. I, although I am kidding in case there are any ladies who see this in the future. <laughs> So uh, what else do we have to say about the uh, Kyle Rittenhouse story? Uh, well, uh, I'm sure there's a lot more um, that uh, uh, that uh, needs to be said because there's just so oh, much. Um, that farce. Chris Cuomo's trending right now because he said that the mm -hmm. outcome. Apparently, apparently, Chris Cuomo said the outcome was just outcome. Really? How, how mm -hmm. dare he? Mr. Yeah, Mr. Right. Mr. Right. need to be peaceful. <laughs> Yeah, I constantly keep on hearing this whole entire argument that, of course, like, you know, just because someone is innocent doesn't mean they're innocent. Like, that's the whole entire point of the justice system is innocence until proven guilty. Right. Uh, right. Except for OJ, you know. But. <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse says he wishes he hadn't gone to Kenosha. This is from Newsweek. Well, probably obviously, he doesn't. he wishes that hadn't happened. I'm um, sure after again after going to CPAC and uh, dealing with the, and uh, being a star there that that tone of his will change. <laughs> Maybe the uh, decision I ever made. You think that he he'll still feel uh, uh, somewhat traumatized of the moment uh, thinking back on that night? Oh, for the rest I, of his I life. Really, I mean, uh, the trauma was from dealing with these BS charges. You know, that all right now that they're over, I don't see uh, everything's good. Well, he's going to have some PTSD because he did take lives and he saw that as a kid. Yeah. You know, and like I'm weird. Um, I've been in self-defense scenarios, did not care. Yeah. But, and, uh, you know, remember, not everybody's a psychopath like me. So I yeah, I said this in our Twitter group chat. Um, in spite of the fact that Rosenbaum deserved pretty much deserved death, Kyle Rittenhouse didn't deserve to be the one to dish it out. No. Hey, and, uh, the the Kyle thing, I think it was like some version of suicide by cop. Like I think Rosenbaum actually wanted Kyle to shoot him. Mm -hmm. I, I oh god! Hey, from Dinesh D'Souza right now. Um, well, a couple hours ago, why are leftists still calling Kyle Rittenhouse a white supremacist? Joseph Rosenbaum is the white guy who routinely used to be in the word. Yeah, oh, it's because they just the the media just loves that term now, and it's like like the term racist, sexist, misogynist, blah blah blah. The losing meaning because they're just <laughs> like you guys just said. Like you guys just said earlier, like it doesn't make any sort of sense to just call him a white supremacist if he's Hispanic. So, <laughs> uh, and he's Hispanic. Well, do you, do you remember who attacked him? White criminals who attacked him. So yeah, it makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, but you know how they remember are Asians are white supremacists these like, days. Yeah. Even if you're a different race, if, if you have that lighter complexion and skin tone or whatever, they go after you, and it's stupid. Well, this is very... Oh, God. Hey, guys, guys, guys. Tariq Nasheed. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have to say? Oh, oh yeah. no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Like, his documentary... Remember, going, there are image... <laughs> buck breaking. <laughs> put, it, put, it screen, put it on screen, dude. Screen share. Oh, my God. Like I, don't, time, I don't know how. A lot of time I talked about that like guy. At the bottom, it's just movies. It was like the worst type of movies I've ever seen. Hey, I'll, I'll post a link to this tweet in the chat thing. But, okay, um, let me find it. Hold on. Yeah. But this was from like November 2nd, but it's still horrible. Uh, images of, of suspected. Remember, everybody's a suspected white supremacist. Uh, Killer Kyle Rittenhouse hanging out with white supremacist group. You know, the Proud Boys, you know, the group that's led by a black Hispanic guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, flashing the same white supremacist hand signal as the New Zealand mosque shooter. And it's like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> I cannot really trust really that guy at all because he made like a series of documentaries called like uh, Hidden Colors, where he pretty much oh. says, yeah, that everything was created by black people. I'm not even exaggerating that. He said yeah. that in the documentary. Oh, and, and he put forward that idea that, like, black people photosynthesize the sun or something. <laughs> just, well, just, from I, what I've I seen mean, from, like, uh, biologists and stuff like that, they talk about how, like, 
that different levels of men melanin are there because of different environments that people immigrated to and moved into and live in. Like you're going to have different skin tone, depending how much exposure to sun and heat and whatever you're getting. So it all makes sense. You know, <laughs> I, uh, no, another weird thing was um, last night, it, uh, 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 Kyle Rittenhouse's lawyer was on CNN and I'm kind of like, what am I seeing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <clears throat> And it's like way too cordial of an interview because CNN spent how long slandering your client, trying to get your client convicted? Yeah. Oh, God, there's some dude flipping out in the trending page of the hashtag Kyle Rittenhouse. He's going to be reporting Newsmax, OANN, and Fox News for, for, for posts regarding Kyle Rittenhouse. It's like, sure, buddy, you're going to make a difference. Go on. Go ahead, man. Yeah. And, and uh, there have been some morons who even been threatening Kyle Rittenhouse on Twitter with violence. And I'm like, didn't work out well for the last three dipshits who tried. <laughs> oh, God. You know who's uh, – We I got to check Chank Uger's Twitter. Kyle Rittenhouse – well, you should, like, see some of the videos that uh, Kyle Rittenhouse – or, excuse me, that AJW is doing in response to TYT on Kyle Rittenhouse. I saw that earlier. I saw one of them, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> Of course, it, would you expect a Chunk to do anything else but lie, lie, lie? He always does. Uh, nope, not really. It's what he's been doing for like 10 years. The guy just never tells the truth, ever. Okay, do you guys know how you have the FJB crap going on posts right now? nothing but about Kyle. Four posts, five. Dude, like his last 10 posts have been about nothing but Kyle Rittenhouse. Nice. So, um. Uh, uh, all right, so we need posts, a new right, Let me go to his page right now. Change. We yeah. we need a new term right here. Um, RDS, Rittenhouse Derangement Syndrome. Right. I wish there was yeah, some oh, sort of catchphrase like OJ be, had. You know, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> people are going to obsess uh, over Rittenhouse for years now. Uh, going forward, yeah. because uh, let's be honest here, they wanted to get a, a guilty verdict and to set up the precedent to give rioters full free license to do whatever they want to their cities without anybody even so much defending their property from somebody when it set it ablaze. Right. Uh, but that's uh, already like, the case. It would have destabilized the United States. So, but uh, like I said, I still think um, did we lose someone. Uh, oh, yeah. the truck not being their goal, right quite now. frankly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, like I said, I still think he'll have an awesome life. And, uh, you know, he, he's going to be interviewing with Tucker Carlson on Monday. I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> Interesting. And he's wait, Kyle a, is? Yeah, Kyle is. He's going to do his first oh. interview on Monday on Tucker Carlson. You know that Shapiro is going to jump at that, too. Oh, my God. Chank Uger is comparing Kyle Rittenhouse to O.J. Simpson on Twitter. <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> oh, yeah, Simpson, like, like, uh, uh, Paul Brown Simpson was tro was totally like trying to hit him over the head with a skateboard. We, wasn't uh, didn't Simpson like kill some of his victims in their sleep? No, he, no, 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 he, didn't, um, he ambushed them and he killed them with a knife. He killed two people with a knife. He oh, full on! Did he chop them. one of their? Did he chop one of their heads off or something wild though? He nearly chopped their heads off. He just gutted their 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 throat open. Yeah, we need yeah, to go back to comparing Chank to a buffalo. <laughs> That's just too easy. That, that that's a dead meme. No, yeah, I'm, that I'm joking. Been dead for a, Bring it a back. Long time. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chunk, yeah, Chunk Booger says uh, everyone who is um, a Kyle Rittenhouse fan is a terrible person. Oh God, no! This one right here, uh, like just under that, the right wing in this country is steeped in violence. They're soaked in blood. And they can't wait to kill. Um, Thank you, Gronk. Kyle Rittenhouse being found not guilty. You know, just because you think he's not guilty doesn't mean you're a fan of him just because you support the justice system. <laughs> right. Well, no, that's him, true, he, but I him, personally am a fan of him because I, I think the kids amen. got guts. No, but right here, him saying that the right wing can't wait to kill and that they're soaked in blood, that is him. Like, for all the criticism that Trump got for never turning the temperature down, only turning it up, like he just put gasoline on the fire for Christ's sake. He's, try yeah. he's trying to incite violence. Let's be honest. That's what that is. 
I don't think there's any other way to read it. Like, I'm usually an incredibly oh, charitable yeah, person, yeah, yeah, but you know my how, God. Yeah. You, you know how Cal Rittenhouse, speaking of which, you know how Cal Rittenhouse and Donald Trump are similar to each other? Is that they both expose some of the insanity of the far left. It's The only difference is that Cal Rittenhouse's stuff is a little bit more passive than Donald Trump's stuff, whereas Donald Trump was more direct. Uh, but all, all the same, that's... Uh, in that case, good on Kyle for uh, uh, being one of the people that's shown this. Well, it, it legitimately frightens me when I read their posts, the insanity of them. They're literally ar- arguing the pedophile is the hero. It's it, it it's beyond. Dude, <laughs> Binger literally Binger literally said that in the closing statements. Hey guys, you, you uh, since we're here and you mentioned that loudmouth, do you want me to show you a short, like one and a half minute video of somebody unironically doing that? I'd rather not. My, my blood pressure has just been called. Uh, uh, you, you, you'd rather, you rather. You know, not, I, 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 I got a couple of new uh, kittens lately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring. I'll go show them. Here, hold on. <laughs> They've been helping me calm down. His head's going to explode. Oh, 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 oh is that the, is that the kittens that he saved? Uh, yeah, or one of the. Oh, yeah, like one of them is. Uh, uh zuko yeah the, the, zuko the cat is uh one of them and then there's uh another two that he had uh saved uh, i think he donated uh one of those two that he had saved on the same day and is keeping the other one so now he's got two cats and one dog if i am correct but it will last jealous he probably he probably donated it to a restaurant i'm just joking oh oh my god <laughs> asian food Asian food. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but um, I like. Oh my kittens. god! You should just take pictures of kittens and put them on as the thumbnail, and everybody will click on it. <laughs> so you know what the funniest thing was for me out of all this? Uh, a while back ago, while talking about the Kyle Rittenhouse case, somebody called me a white supremacist, <laughs> and literally, no, no, no. In like an hour before that, I had just bought a Malcolm X fucking portrait with this quote of the Second Amendment. Here you go. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, I want to see kitties. So yeah. precious. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I got. Oh, sorry. Take that off. Uh, yeah, the got, rocking yeah. beard you got kitty. going on there too, loudmouth. Hey, everyone! I got a kitty. I got a kitty. <laughs> yeah, my screen is frozen. Hey, I'll be right back in. My uh, stream yards is having issues. Yeah, my kitty. Hey, yeah, hey. Uh, my, hey. yeah, my aunt found um, – I, I actually got two of them right now. Oh. No joke. Like, no, no, no. And litter. no joke, Loudmouth. I think you should uh, go along and keep the beard because it uh, looks nice, looks sharp. Thank you. Appreciate that. Say hi. Say hi, Saka. The, it's the kind Saka. of pussy that will never let you down. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> wow, you had to attack a loudmouth like that. Fuck you, chair. Hey, it's fine. Whatever. I'm not attacking him. I'm attacking women. <laughs> yeah, yes. That. Yeah. Okay, All right. Here, let, me, let me put him back now. <laughs> it's very nice, kitty. <laughs> Shit, I probably need to turn this down. I'm uh, playing some uh, Overwatch uh, right now, uh, in case you go wondering. Although we'll see if how my connection uh, holds up with uh, this, considering. Um, yeah, speaking of uh, video games making you violent, I'm increasingly getting more the urge to shoot pedophiles and uh, domestic abusers and uh, felons with pistols now, just by uh, playing this game. <laughs> I, I made a comment earlier, too, that was like, isn't it true that when you play Mario, you're crushing Goombas the whole time? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We all know that uh, playing Mario doesn't get you the urge to kill people. It get, makes you get the urge to want to take shrooms. Yeah. And uh, Overwatch, it uh, gets people to the urge to uh, want to invent shit because apparently because about half the characters are inventors in their own rights. Oh, wait. Actually, no, that's not the case. So Because... So that means that uh, saying that video games influence people to want to do X, Y, Z thing is absolute bullshit. Yeah. Might, I don't know. might as well have Sarkeesian as the prosecutor being like, video games, 
You did all this stuff to people in the video game. Means you're guilty. Just and since it. you'll make the argument that uh, next Kyle Rittenhouse will want to, uh, I don't know, rape a, a woman or something because there's a uh, he plays video games with scantily clad ladies on them. In them, did um, did Rittenhouse have any sort of actual firearm training or anything like that? He uh, explained in the trial that he did actually go to the range a few times before. No, because I'm not so he sure seemed how to often it was. handle the weapon properly uh, and uh, efficiently. And like, oh, know. yeah, he would absolutely he... have to in order to uh, – <laughs> he would absolutely have to have had some training to have the uh, yeah. same kind of uh, control that he did. Well, no, I wouldn't be surprised that, if he had um, some – if he had did some stress training. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh. it, yeah, that, that kid had really amazing control. And for a 17-year-old kid, that, it, it's astonishing. Really. For a 17-year-old kid, I had never possessed any AR-style rifle until I was like uh, 19 or 20. Like, um, when, like when he shot uh, Gage uh, Grossface, for example, it, it, you, <laughs> you saw that he fired straight at the um, uh, uh, towards his arm, the, the way he did the arm that was holding the gun pointed at him. Like yeah. That was just perfect shooting. What it was, I think, is um, when the gun was pointed at him, he was uh, he was looking at the gun, not the man behind it. So it was he, just kind of a split second decision. He fired towards the area of the gun, which also contained uh, yeah. his now go, uh, now forgone bicep. He should really be grateful. Hey, uh, <laughs> he, no, his now mouth. begone bicep. Loud mouth. Uh, you got it wrong. It ain't gross face. It's gross cry. <laughs> like yeah. he should be uh, lucky that in the sense that lucky, actually. Um. Rent if that you guys... or something, someone like that, they wouldn't shoot the hand. They would shoot to take you down, you know. Did you guys see the, um, like, a few months after he got shot in the arm, Gage was arrested for drunk driving. And while right. talking to the cops, he was, like, the most belligerent punk in the world. Yeah, he's a fu- He is a fucking moron. <laughs> he is a... He's an absolute disgrace to the human race. Hey, I do not know saw... if you guys... Wait, wait, wait. Hey, guys. I don't know if you ever saw this meme that was shared out by Mr. Dapperton, but there is one of where that... Uh, the first text... The first text was, uh, hey, are your kids... Um... Okay, kids uh, like five and under get in free. And the next picture is... Uh... For the next time, oh, yeah. Dad's saying, uh, he's five years old. The next text was uh, Gro- Gage Grosskreutz uh, saying, uh, but I'm actually six. And then the next picture yeah, yeah. is uh, of Strauss face palming, and it said, Dad. The text said, yeah. Dad. <laughs> Did anybody go through that as a kid, by the way? That was funny. When it was like, oh, 13 and under, eat free. And your parents are like, you're 12. It's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He did that yeah. to sneak into the drive-in theaters when I was a kid. Damn it! Why do I have to raise yeah, such was a arrest- honest kids? G- Gage uh, Gr- uh, Grossdick was actually once arrested for punching his own grandma. Fuck him! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Really? Well, at least he didn't. At least he didn't really? affect her. I'm just saying. Oh my god! <laughs> Sarah, fuck you! Fuck you! That's gross. Well, okay, so all the people that were commenting like, "Oh, a first aid person wouldn't need an AR-15." It's like. Look at like war photos, especially Vietnam, where like the medic would be helping somebody and the rest of his platoon or whatever would be there with a gun guarding him. There would be at least one guy that had a weapon nearby. Hey, Dude, my no, friend. No, no. Chair view, chair view. I, I've, I, I can speak from experience because I have played Command and Conquer Red Alerts. Medics are never armed. No, I know my that. My friend has they a, often, uh, has anybody else ever one played of the Red other. Alert? They, they often well, have one of the other soldiers standing by that has a weapon. Well, my friend has an uh, a antique twenty two rifle uh, from World War II. That was a medic issued gun. Because as in wasn't the it medics. A, of, uh, the... I think in World mm-hmm. War II there were some instances of this where like you're not supposed to because it's considered like bad etiquette or a war crime or whatever. But there are some um, who would shoot, you know, when you're trying to be a medic and help the person, you know. Yeah, uh, the Japanese were infamous for that in World War II, uh, shooting yeah. the medics. Well, that's yeah. my point. Like, you know. and, and, and another funny, uh, another real funny thing is to go to the Twitter page of uh, Grossdick. He, he he actually uh, retweeted this one um, uh, uh, meme that said that if you like show up to like an active 
aggressive situation with uh, a weapon. All right, you're a, you're a terrorist and an insurgent. And I'm like, did you show up to the place of the weapon, you fucking moron? I run. Right. Right. Irony, you have met your match. Why has he not been charged for that? He he brandished a weapon that he's illegal that he was carrying illegally. Are, these are crimes. Throw him in jail. They literally tried to charge Kyle Rittenhouse for a crime that Gage admitted to committing in court. By the way, I saw something in the news. I don't know. If this was just inaccurate reporting where they were like saying that not only did Binger like point the gun, but he pulled the trigger. He may have. I mean, it's easy once your finger's in that trigger no, I mean, well. The guy is that incompetent. I wouldn't su- be surprised if he did. No, it would have been too. Well, if, he, if, if the thing was so he right? p- tried to pull the trigger, they also could convict him of attempted murder. Well, I think trying to, to put fear in right. the jury like that, like, he, he should have objected to that. Like, I don't understand why they didn't object at that point. Like, Yeah, I'm like, objection? Your oh, yeah, he can't hold that gun. gun. Like, he Honor, wanted to show it off. Gun. Yeah. Unsafe gun practice right here. Well, have he was trying. Not, have we not well, he heard of like, the stories of Alec Baldwin? Go ahead. Damn it. That yeah, that, yeah, that was in the, in the next Baldwin. A binger. Uh, yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse found um, not guilty because none of the jurors were alive to convict him because Binger killed them all with a gun. <laughs> but if he wanted to, right. he could have like, my... had, had the assistant, his assistant or whatever, chase him around the room and fall down. And then aim the gun. Then they would have seen, okay, you know. No, dude, my favorite part of that, like me, myself, from that was him with his uh, pointing the gun at the jury. And it says, when the trial isn't going your way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't even this they guy didn't reena- have him like reenact the position he was in when he fired and stuff. Like, I thought they would have done that for dude. sure. No, like I said, though, that kid had so much more discipline than I would have. And I'm, and I'm 27. Oh, yeah. I, I would have been probably firing like crazy because that cause if I was in his situation. By the way. Oh, in his situation, been, like, you get within 10 feet of me, you're getting shot. Like This would have been the millennials version of the O.J. Simpson trial if it was the 90s and TV was everywhere. Because, like, the O.J. thing, it wasn't just on news channel. It was everywhere, every station. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's... If this had been oh. the 90s, it would have been everywhere. <laughs> well, did you see it was absolutely life, wild? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. People who don't use Twitter or social media very often didn't even know about the thing. Really? Well, yeah. did you, did you oh, see that um, Joy Reid from, uh, from MSNBC said that this just proves that white people can kill indiscriminately or something like that? And it's like, right? I expect Joy Reid to say anything else. That's all she ever says. I mean, the yeah, rest but, of the yeah. charts, like I mentioned with the Facebook memes. Right. Oh, by the way, and now another, another fun one from the Babylon Bee. Let me pull this one up. Hold on. Okay, so we're only getting sketches right now, and it's only jury selection right now. But do you think they're gonna air the Ghislaine Maxwell trial? I hope so. Oh, probably not. They probably don't care. There was this one meme that I saw shared on Facebook. I don't think the person who I saw share it was intending it this way, but the meme was uh, making it out like if the Kyle Rittenhouse coverage and tri- streaming the trial is a distraction from the real problem in our country. <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself, they're both equally problems and should both be streamed, appropriately speaking. Yeah, Damn it. Yeah, yeah. After yeah, that's why right that now, is a I wonderful that. headline. It reminds everyone that all lives matter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all lives matter. All lives matter when it comes to a white guy shooting a white BLM protester, but not all lives matter, uh, Matt. Well, when we're talking about uh, the race issues in a debate, you expect these morons to be consistent for more than ten seconds. <laughs> By the way, just I don't think to like, know, no more consistency. Just to let you know, this type of discussion, like I had a video removed on YouTube because the person in it, it was one of those Karen things, right? The person in it went against the CDC guidelines on the coof. So 
they took my video down because of that, even though I wasn't glorifying it or saying I agreed with her or anything. So like, I, know. Topics, I got like, no, you can't hear that. You're not allowed to. You know, just stupid. Dude, I got a I got a twelve hour suspension on Twitter because I literally because all I said was uh, one of the people Kyle Rittenhouse killed was a pedophile or something like that. And How dare it's like, you this say is a no things. It's just right. the word. That's why it's the word, right? I got no a video because taken actual just... pedophilia is on Twitter, and they can't seem to get rid of that. No, I know, but if you use the p word in a tweet, that's what triggers the whole banning thing. Oh, oh yeah. well, I don't bother. Uh, it's why I almost never tweet anymore because it's just it's like walking on eggshells. It's no fun. I just I don't. Well, bother. the good thing is, loudmouth, is that there are a lot of really anticipated movies and stuff coming out right now that you'll be able to cover. So if you choose to. I, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll speaking of that, I've become politicized. I've already did, I did a stream. Uh, me and Darkon did one on Dune. Look up, look up this French movie called Titanium. I won't tell you anything about it, but it might be funny to talk about. Hey, real quick. So Tyler Preston, you're, you're a fellow nerd, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a DC nerd, right? Please. Um, I only like just Batman and the Joker. <laughs> uh, oh, Batman, though? Um, I got um. Well, I just I found a new uh, I found a uh, games and nerd shop near me where I moved recently. And dude, they had the um. Was that gonna ask? Do you guys know anything about the American Gladiator Lobo comics? Oh my god. Uh no. Damn, I haven't read them yet. I'm hoping they're awesome. I barely I know him. anything about Lobo except that he is a an even more OP version of Deadpool. Some reviewers have described the, him as the main man. I remember him from Superman the animated series. He's awesome, Amy. Yeah, he was oh, a cool character. Do you hear this thing where Jared Leto, Leto was saying something about oh that there should be an ear cut of the movie? Why not? They did the <sighs> Justice League or whatever. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, a Lobo movie probably would be a, a bit of a boon for Warner Brothers. Dude, that would be so horribly rated R. They might, they might not be able to release it in most theaters. Polka Dot Man needs his own movie because of the whole <laughs> history and legend behind him. He needs. A well, movie. the thing about movies oh, is yeah. that movies are immoral because movie studios illegally release movies across state lines. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, loudmouth, by the way. How dare they? Um, STD or disco has started again, and my God, is it horrible? <laughs> STDs. Yeah, Star Trek. What? Yeah, I know. I know. Star the Trek real Dis uh, Discovery. Uh, yeah. I hope it's only spreading in one state because if it spreads across. <laughs> yeah! Of course, only I North Americans it. get to watch it. So you know, yeah. what what movie or or this are you talking about? Oh, the uh, the Star Trek Discovery show. Oh, with, with, the literal with the non binary and super flamboyant gay character that they have. I the literally have not movie. watched a single episode of that show, and I have no desire to. I I love how like Hollywood. They're like, we need gay representation. Let's find the gayest, most stereotypical thing on the planet, and it's like. You know, like, you're not helping representation at all. Uh, th this is kind of gun-related. Apparently, like, The Rock or whatever said, oh, on all our films that we do with my production co company, we're, we're going to use fake guns and do CGI. <laughs> okay, like, let's be honest. The reason they're doing that is so they can edit out blood and stuff for uh, the Chinese market. It's not because of any actual, like, moral reasoning. Wait, edit without blood? Uh, blood for the Chinese market. Yeah, the Chinese yeah, because if you Party need... are uh, are are uh, will often have a prohibition against violent movies, unless it's I'm like what? Uh, uh, that is unless it's movies where uh, Chinese uh, communist troops kill Japanese you know, soldiers. I think you know part of blood. why China was so upset with Shang Chi or whatever because the, at one point the, a dragon comes out and shit, and it seems really <laughs> stereo. It looks really stereotypical. Uh, well, actually, the reason why they were angry about Shang Chi is because the actor made some statements that when he was young in China, that a lot of people were starving, and that and supposedly that hurt the feelings of the Chinese people. And what is that? Not an average movie, 
you know, yeah, I didn't. It think obviously it was amazing. completely inaccurate. Nobody's starving in China. There's, yeah, everyone in China is totally economically prosperous. Everyone I'll say this: well, it was better than the other Black part. Movie. The other part too was it showed images of ancient China, and yeah. Yeah. that kind of stuff, and that is horribly restricted in the Chinese market well, because it could make it. right, but it could make people. Um, they reminiscent of times before the CCP. They don't like that uh, form of of Chinese conservatism where people want to go back to ancient China traditions instead of the modern day Mao Chai Com traditions. Yeah, because mm-hmm. um, communism is not Chinese. That's a big thing about it. The, uh, right. It's an ideology that was invented in uh, 18th century Europe. Yeah. And so if, of, if you do anything that portrays that reality, um, you're walking on thin ice for them. And then on top I, of that, with the site with the um, yeah. superhero movie, it had like magic and stuff. And uh, they're terrified of magic. I, I thought the part was funny when he tells the girl his real name and she's like, Sean, and you change your name is Chang and you change it to Sean. <laughs> Sean, a uh, Sean, but he changes to Sean, yes. He just basically Americanized his name, which actually a lot of Chinese like immigrants do. Well, a lot of immigrants in general do that, yeah. yeah. Like I know they're connecting the whole thing, and that's kind of cool because they're trying to get up to the multiverse thing. But the Spider-Man thing, I don't know. People are gonna rock if those guys aren't in it, but Andrew Garfield is definitely in there. So, oh my god, that's awesome! I haven't seen very much news on that lately, actually. So Andrew Garfield eventually said on a comment on a video or something, he said like, um. All right, I'm done with this crap. We'll see when the movie comes out. Either you're going to be really happy or really disappointed. So that pre- pretty much says that yes, he's in it. Well, he also did. Let's be honest, like the worst Spider-Man movie. All right, second worst Spider-Man movies because the third. Uh, yeah, I think Spider-Man yeah. Three is the worst. Yeah, I was going to say I forgot about the third right? one. Let's see where he danced in that bar like... was the low, lowest of the franchise. <laughs> they was, were hyping it up, was... and they're going to have these guys in it. And then they don't show them in the trailer. I think it's really genius. Unlike like the oh. Matrix is giving away everything in their trailer now. I don't know. The thing is, uh, what would you prefer? Would you prefer like uh, Sp- Amazing Spider-Man 2 where they take themselves overly serious? Or would you prefer Spider-Man 3 where they don't take themselves seriously enough? Uh, I thought uh, Spider-Man 3 was uh, worse just for the bar scene, dance scene alone. I, yeah, I want that to alone Holland recreate that dance scene. Okay? Own- I want Venom to like... You know, make them dance. <laughs> that would be hilarious, actually, if Tom Holland did that. Scene. Well, there has, there's definitely going to be a sixth villain in this movie. They're just not <laughs> revealing who it is. Well, I saw like some promotional poster thing. I don't know if it was real or not with the Doc Ock arms. Yeah, yeah, Doc Ock's in it, and so is um Sandman, Green the Goblin, lizard, the Lizard, Sandman, Goblin. The lizards in it, totally. Oh. Yeah, I think what's gonna happen is they're just gonna have Venom up here, like at the end, like at the end of Carnage did, where he found Spider-Man. You know, they're probably just well, gonna have him in it for like two minutes, like Rhino. Yeah, well, right. Well, the other part of that too um, is uh, whoever this secret villain is, that's gonna be the person that causes a multiverse shattering, or however it takes place. Mm-hmm. That's my guess, anyway. I've got I'm a theory honestly- that no one's gonna. Like, I've lost most interest in the MCU. Like, I haven't seen Eternals and don't have much desire to. Oh, yeah. God. The Eternal CGI is so horrible. It, 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 it just, the trailers see, look so dull. And what, what I, I love. I, I haven't seen the movie, but I heard, like, the Eternals, despite being on Earth thousands of years, are, like, particularly horrified of the bombings of Hiroshima. I'm like, fuck off, movie. I, uh, I, I have a theory that maybe, maybe Doctor Strange isn't really Doctor Strange and it's Mysterio and he's going to be a villain. Man, Wait a second, real but quick. Like, isn't but but like what is it? A few uh, uh, like I don't know, uh, like a, a couple of years, maybe less than that before the bombing of Hiroshima, uh, the Jap uh, the Japanese army, for example, kill, uh, killed killed uh, more Chinese people in um, Nanking than um, th- than bol- the total death toll of both. Oh, the during that one battle, they oh, yeah. Wait, them. They, so fuck they off. Kind of I mean, uh, like the bombings of Hiroshima was like the worst thing in human history. Well, there's a there's that one horrific and famous image which I don't even think I can properly describe. Yeah, that's what I'm talking with about. With a lady being they... inappropriately bayoneted, bayoneted. Yeah, yeah, like 
there's a legitimate argument to be made that the Japanese were worse than the Nazis when it well, came to war watched, crimes. Um, Man in the high I, castle. I don't know. I don't know if I'll go that far, but pretty close. If not, the, no, no. I level. said, I said, there's an argument to be made. I didn't say it's definite. I just said there's an argument like, to be made. If you watch Man in the High Castle, they definitely put that that like that you don't want either of them ruling right <laughs> oh yeah because there's one scene where they bring a family into a room they're going to talk to them they say and then like they just pour gas in the room and the mom's like freaking out and the kids have no idea she doesn't want them to get scared right but like yeah that type of stuff went on and like i hate it that they want to pick and choose history now right Oh yeah, well, I, I, but like, yeah. Red Feather says Doctor Strange is really Doctor Who. That, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying that Doctor Strange in the movie isn't really acting like himself. He messes up the spell that Peter asked him for. So I, that's why I think that's why my theory was Mysterio. But you know, well, know. the thing about it is though, it established that Mysterio uh, in the last Spider-Man it was essentially a fraud who had no magical abilities. Well, that's true, but yeah, also the other uh, um, the thing. I, I think that was their way of kind of like gauging the audience's interest in a multiverse thing by bringing it up and then un not doing it. Well, my question is, why is the whole area that he's in covered in snow? MCU, they go everywhere. Yeah, Who knows? yeah. But I am excited for that movie because uh, I think the Spider-Man <laughs> movies might be the last good ones that they make. Honestly, the last one was pretty mediocre. Like, uh, I'm kind of more excited for far I'm from kind of more excited for the Matrix, right? Not bad, but, but it was like blah. Sorry, go ahead. I just said it, it wasn't that it wasn't like um, <sighs> terrible or anything. It just was kind of black. Yeah. Um, I, I have absolutely no interest in another Matrix movie just because, like, it doesn't need to exist. No, yeah. it doesn't. They're they're being you know, really that, super meta too. They're referencing the actual Matrix movie inside the movie. So like, Here's my thing with uh, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. I think everything about Far From Home is better than Homecoming, except for the villain. Um, the first, Which one was the first one, Far From Home? Far From, Far From Home was the second one. Homecoming was the first one. Right, Far From right. Home, he no, had the um, glasses. Stark's glasses yeah. that he gave him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first Spider-Man movie, uh, Homecoming, that one was nearly a perfect movie. And I do love the way the Vulture was, like, not a total idiot. And, like, he connected the dots to figure out who Spider-Man was. That was gene that, that was incredible script writing right there. Uh, the, the 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 movie's version of Vulture pretty much bears no resemblance to the Vulture of the comics. You know, to be fair, the vultures the... of the comics is kind of disturbing. So you know, what I know, about... I like disturbing. <laughs> you know what is the funny thing with uh, a whole lot of the MCU villains is that a lot of them are just disgruntled Stark employees. <laughs> I know. Employees. Like you know, uh, Agents oh, of Shield. That's a really common thing. V Dude, like there are vulture, so many. The Dude, like, Mandalorian or whatever his name is. The Mandalorian. The the um. Yeah, the the, the the Jake Gyllenhaal character. Yeah, <laughs> well, the um, oh hey, he uh, keeps creating Tyler, his own problems. See you that... later. Oh, Tyler's leaving. Guys. Yeah, I'm gonna Bye. go right now. I have to go. See you guys. Hey, it was oh, nice see seeing you, later, you again. Tyler. Thanks for dropping by. No problem. Right. Am, am I Tyler, the only one I like who? Tyler. Me too. Uh, am I the only one though who like wants more venom? But we don't need Tom Hardy's character. Just the venom. Venom part of him. <laughs> we don't no, need Eddie. Tom, we just need Tom, Venom. Eddie makes that character, I think. But I haven't seen uh, the Carnage movie. The, the accent is so weird. Tom Hardy's accent? I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't care much for his for the Venom movies. I thought they were eh, not that good. I oh, would say this much, one. though. Tom Hardy's uh, body, like his body acting is really good. He's really good at manipulating his body. Yeah, I, I, I just like the parts where it's like, please, Eddie, can I eat them? And he's just like, no, you can't. And then he gives him permission, and he just loves it. Every time. You know, so I love the okay. Woody Harrelson was kind of Woody. Let's just put it that way. You, you like, don't, 
you cast Woody Harrelson to play Woody Harrelson, really. And sometimes Carnage would be vulnerable to sound, and then some other time he wasn't. So it's confusing. Carnage yeah. should not be susceptible to sound anyway because he's red, which means that he bonds with the blood of the guy rather than the brain. So Carnage, Carnage should not be affected by sound. <laughs> well, he's, well, the sound is, a, is the... Um... Uh, a, it's part of the biology of their species. So it, it makes sense that it would stay. Only in the black ones, not in the red ones. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Ugh. All right, well, I'm going to head out too, guys. I got to right. take a nap. Oh, I'm tired. I guess it might be time to uh, start winding down the stream. Uh, hey, All right. Uh, well, yeah. um, well uh, since it started off, of course, about Kyle... Congratulations, Kyle Rittenhouse. Um, this, I doubt Kyle Rittenhouse is one of my subscribers, but if he is, uh, I'm happy to have you as a viewer. All right, you are a chat. <laughs> Congratulations on your freedom. Amen. Um, later, yeah. guys. But later. All right. But, but have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.